I don't actually know if I'm feeling this shirt with like an actual sports coat. I, I don't know. I tried like a coral shirt, but I don't think the uh, collar was right. Looking like a professor today. I definitely do look like... Do you, do you think I should like tone down the professor and get a more ostentatious shirt color so I look more like a lunatic than I do a professor? Do we think we should, should we tone down the dark academia or should we keep the dark academia? Keep, oh, I'm, it's, I'm seeing mostly keep. Okay, I'm seeing mostly keep. All right. Well, I, this is, uh, this is a, a for the people stream, of course. So we'll, we'll, we'll respect the democratic consensus. Depends on the shorts. Oh, for OKBV, okay, we're going for the classic. We're going for the, um, the classic cotton shorts, as always. Naturally, that's that that is what we do. Not slutty enough. I'm sorry. Uh, the sluttier shorts are less comfortable on a mesh seat. Oh, there it is, unorthodox monkey. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't actually think the OK Buddy Vosh mods have unbanned me. I I think that I think that they're calling my bluff. Um, because if I if I click here, I can't. Um. Oh, can I reply now? Oh, wait, did they? Nope. Never mind. They unbanned me. I couldn't earlier. They did it sometime in between this morning and now. Yeah, we are unbanned. We are free. Where are the doors in this room? Yeah, this room actually has 17 doors on, like, the, the ceiling, on the on the floor. You know, people can enter and exit however they want. Um, very much an open-door policy on this live stream. You know, no closed doors here. Mostly for the cats. How's everyone doing? Scooby-Doo-ass room, exactly. I demand a floor plan for safety reasons. I'll keep your uh, proposal in mind. Is there a dumb waiter? <laughs> no, just a dumb streamer. How's everyone doing? I like to believe your room is just a big prop room in the middle of nowhere. It's it's literally just like a a set on a sound stage somewhere in Langley, you know? Uh deep underground. Did you get a haircut? No, I haven't gotten a haircut in a while. Is your room just set up in the FBI? Yeah, yeah, it's like this. This is where I stream from, actually. Unironically. What's up with the Hogwarts professor outfit? Are you debating a 17th century right? It's 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 literally it's literally just a a sports jacket. <laughs> it's just an autumn sports jacket, um, with uh with a button up shirt that I found at a thrift store like two years ago. I thought this was your room. Yeah, this is where the cats enter from. Shoulder patches? No shoulder patches. I personally think that shoulder and elbow patches look bad. I know that they're like a very Oxford tweed English professor thing, and I don't like it. I think that 99% of the time it's a LARP. People get them put on to perfectly suitable suits, and I don't care for it. New glasses? Yes, new glasses. I like some elbow patches. Maybe. 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 Every stream is a lecture. Take them off for the memes? The glasses? What memes would that be? That would just be me without glasses on. Would that be memes? What if they're for legitimate repair? How, like, realistically, how often is that the case? Um, you know? The blind stream is good memes, true? Oh, yeah, we got a whole, we got a whole day of that. Okay, BV, but I can't see shit. Exactly, yeah. Oh, here, hold on. To kick things off, do you guys want... Hold on, I need to, um... I need to, uh, move this video from my phone to my computer to show it. A top secret, yet unreleased, baby video. Wow, Ruben. Hey, Jin. Ruben, be nice. Oh, looking. Oh. He doesn't like... Oop. <laughs> Ruben, can you read the social cue? No. No. <laughs> you turn her head away from him a little? Mwah. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> Ruben. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's how you lick her. Look at his little face. <laughs> Ruben, you're so annoying. <laughs> oh, it, Deserved. It's over. It's over.
it's over. It's over. Lim. Pigeon, he means well. <laughs> Yum. I can't with how he works when he opens his mouth. Such a tiny mouth. Stop biting her. All right. That's enough. Look at look at how ridiculous Ruben looks when he tries to chomp something. It's so funny. Look look at look at his mouth. Look at how tiny of a mouth he has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can barely open it. It's so cute. I can't with how he works when he opens his mouth. It's such a tiny mouth. Stop biting. Yeah, he can barely bite. So goddamn cute. Anyway, there we go. Undisclosed baby violence. Okay, we're tracking all of this for, for public interest. Yeah, folks, you know, um, given how backed up we are, I think the best way to do this is to just sort over the past year on OK Buddy Vosh and anything that says submitted four months ago or earlier should be the right thing to pick, right? Oh, checked pinned. Archive post since April 2023. Okay, buddy, Vosh segment. Holy shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? How? How, how often have you been? Jesus Christ. Juzor. Oh my god! Bolded, unbolded pattern included for easy readability. Smart. Jesus Christ! The site died, so they need another way. I guess that works. Yeah, I can't really fault it. That's why you should have done it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least unhinge, okay, buddy, Vosh member. Yeah, you know, they're dedicated, okay? It's a dedicated community. I guess we'll we'll do this in in ten chunks, right? That makes sense. That makes far more sense than opening it one at a time. Definitely. <laughs> Karen is a racial slur. If I derisively refer to a random black woman, I find annoying as Shaniqua or whatever everyone else would consider it racist. The Karen slur is used to dismiss the degrade white women. That's the whole point. Karen is not a slur. Karen is a slur, and I will use it. This is unironically the correct position to take. This is, it's, it's in line with like the, um, it's in line with like the, um, racism equals prejudice plus power thing, where people on the left, for some reason, will die on the hill that it's impossible for black people to be racist to white people, when you could so easily say, like, yeah, they can be, but it's not really socially harmful. It's not institutional, you know? Um, exact same thing, where it's like, oh, well, a slur has to have, like, social power behind it. No, it doesn't. It just has to be a derisive term referring to, like, a specific demographic trait, you know? And I really, I don't think, um, I don't think white women are, <laughs> I don't think white women are, are having that rough of a time, you know, in the, in the context of this particular term. Jesus Christ! Got a short left-wing meme for you all today. The year is 2045. The rise of American fascism from two days, two decades prior was successfully defeated by the left, and the threat of a genocide of trans people was averted. The rise of Gen Z and Gen Alpha's influence in politics, the most progressive generations ever, have left conservatism a dead ideology. The U.S.'s elections are now between the Democrats, which have moved significantly over to the left, and a socialist party. The old Russian regime has long since collapsed and has become a stable liberal democracy, alongside Ukraine, both of which are in NATO. China followed suit under similar circumstances. Perhaps this is due to his advanced age or the lack of urgency to political advocacy compared to yesterday, but the leftist streamer Vosh no longer has the same passion in his eyes. In a desperate attempt to salvage his dwindling viewership moving on to other things, Ian Kaczynski prepares for one last OKBB segment looking through 200 posts calling him a horse f You know what? If, 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 if I'm to go out under any circumstances, those would be the ones, okay? It's like, uh, look, okay, I'm, 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 I'm watching the sun set on a grateful universe, all right? It's fine. It's the good ending, okay? I don't think I'm going to look like this in 22 years. I could be wrong, but I don't think this is what I'll look like. That's just a guess of mine.
You will. I am white, you know. I am white, so that is that that is my fate, I suppose. Birthday today, dad is an old fashioned southern cowboy, pretty supportive of me being trans even though he doesn't fully get it. Dad decides what to give uh decides to give me a Mossberg five ninety shotgun with a hilarious pink bow in it. Ask Dad what the heck I'm gonna do with this. He says, Take care of them transphobes that don't mind their fucking business and laughs my face when dad. Fucking base, dude. This is uh this is a uh, Midwestern Democrat, okay? This is your average Michigan Democrat. And this is why they're so much more effective than New York Democrats. It's true. Yeah. Rust Belt strong. Yeah. I saw a meme the other day talking about like American regions uh, and, and which are going to do better in the future. And you have like the Rust Belt, you have like the area near the Great Lakes. And the, the post was like, which is, which is going to do the best? The one that has the access to fresh water. <laughs> and that would be the Great Lakes, you know? Vouch, I have a new mission. Oh, Jesus for you. Christ. I'd do anything to advance the postmodern neo-Marxist cause, Mr. President. What do you need me to do? The Pentagon has just informed me of a major threat to our plan of turning all American children into transgenders. It's an old enemy of yours. You can't possibly mean... That's right, J.K. Rowling is back, but she's not alone this time. She has made no, some Bucks powerful text. allies since you last defeated her. You'll need backup. Don't Betting worry, on Anna Kasparian. I know just who to call. Meanwhile, in Britain... Actually up that the voice does sound like me all right guys please welcome our newest member dennis prager hey guys i'm so glad you invited me even though i recently came out as bisexual don't worry though i still love genociding trans people just the same i just love it so much it's my favorite thing to do if genociding trans people were an ice cream flavor it would be my favorite ice cream flavor that's great, Dennis. Uncanny. Anyway, let's discuss our plan of blowing up the trans headquarters to stop Drag Queen Story Hour once and for all. Meanwhile, in Chinatown. Hello there, Cho Chang from Harry Potter. <laughs> I need your help to... You got a lot of balls showing your face around Why? Here, Bosch. I would never help you after all you have done last time. This is... Those children had it coming. Save it. I'm not helping you. You don't understand, Cho. She's back. That changes everything. That dumb white bitch ruined my life by giving me a stupid name. She didn't even realize that Cho and Chang are both last names. <laughs> That's terrible. If you promise to help me, I That's can get terrible. the president to sign an executive order to change your name. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll help you. I think I'll change my name to Anna Rachel Cho. They teleport to the Legion of Evil. And that's why we need to kill all trans children. Stop right there, Joanne. You are under arrest for the crime of transphobia. Hello, Vosh. Hello, Cho Chang. I have been expecting you. Shut up, Kraka. My name is Anna Rachel Cho now. Gay. Anyway, it was my plan for you to come here so I can Ooh, take you prisoner. Okay. Now there's no one protecting the trans headquarters. Oh, man. Later. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Voosh. How are we going to get out of this one? Don't worry, guys. I will free you. Dennis Prager, why do you want to help us? I have recently realized that I am bisexual and decided to infiltrate the Legion of Evil to take them down from the inside. Quickly, we need to get to the trans headquarters before it's too late. They teleport to the trans headquarters. Now that all trans children have gathered for the Drag Queen Story Hour, so we can finally stupid. stop the grooming once and for all. Not so fast, Joanne. Dennis, I should have known not to trust a f Your chicanery stops now. You have no chance against us. So that's it, huh? You're some kind of That's right. We are anarcho-Bidenists. Gee, all of that? All of that? All of the previous ones have been image like comics, and this was a two and a two and a half minute video. The f effort posting, dude, Jesus Christ! Gonna Fortnite myself after that? Yeah, that was a rough one. Oh my god! The antiques of these always hit like a freight train. Can't believe you Anglo watched Cho. She was Scottish in the movies. The second World War victory. I originally wanted her to have a Chinese accent, but unfortunately, AI tech hasn't come that far yet. I am so glad that AI tech did not give you the ability to give her a Chinese accent. Okay, I am very, very glad <laughs> that you were denied that ability. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! It would have been the accent in Rowling's head. Ah, uh, right, right, yeah, of course. Saved by the lack of tech. Jesus Christ. 
Vosh the time machine. Don't say stupid edgy stuff in the kill stream. You'll regret it later. You know you can just say... N I like how, e like, even when representing older me, like, there's not... Where's the fat Ian Wojak is the question, right? Where is the, um... To fully reflect the growth, or I guess the lack thereof, the opposite of growth, the shrinkage, you know? I, I've always liked how, because this one is modeled right off of the Nordic Chad or whatever, the eye looks psychotic. The eyeball look it looks like a dead fish eye peering off to the side a little bit, like a little wall-eyed, you know? True, yeah. Is is this is this the fatty and wojack? I think this might be the fatty and wojack. That's true. We don't need a new one, okay? We can pull from history. Why'd they give me a headset? I literally never wear a headset. Okay. There's the crying one, too. Yeah, but I don't look fat there. I just look like a Wojak, you know? That's that's a high-effort Wojak, though, for for sure, for sure. That's down the best one so far. From my dad. You people are so f***ing weird. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Trying to trying to keep a foot of the insane shit the culture war has taken us to. This character looks like he would call you a slur, then explain why using slurs is good practice. That's true. Anyone else waiting for Joseph Anderson to engage in Yikmas so I can finally see what the f this game is infamous for? Anyone else? Not not just me. I have not played Yik. Uh, I'm waiting for Yikmas. Appar it's like a visual novel that's really infamous for some reason, and I don't know why it's infamous. I only know that people post pictures of this guy and say that it's literally me. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! <laughs> the average Midwestern voter is a Leninist, as we've previously established, but that is true. I will I, we I will never get over like the 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 dialectic, you know, the constant tension where right wing populists have to like try not to look like complete buffoons while explaining how what the like what the people want actually is like bans on transgenderism in school or something, you know? <laughs> Dad! Non-binary people offend me. Hashtag trans. It's offend me, grow up. Okay, the funny thing is, is that you can read into this in, like, a gendered way, but I don't know if my dad knows that she's trans, so I don't think... I, like, I, there's no way of knowing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Schrodinger's slur, okay? Vosh arriving at the Trans Vosh Convention in Florida. Oh, this is from Lord of War. I can't play this. Copyright. Come here, come here. Come here, you want something? Oh, Look. Yeah, Happy times. Come on. Guys, 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 yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see Lord of War. I gotta see Lord of War. Um, that's true. Trans Voshai Convention 4. Get armed. Get ready. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. You haven't? No, I haven't seen Lord of War. Lots of movies I want to see. This is what I mean? <laughs> The white leftist industrial complex. Hey, look, it's the one photo of me. And then there's Shark behind me, because when people don't like Shark, their go-to, like, insult against him is to call him an Uncle Tom and say that I control him or he's sucking up to me, despite we, n us, not interacting with each other private, like, e like, ever at all. Unironically, that's racist. Yes, it is unironically racist. Yeah. Me sitting on Vasha's shoulder telling him not to say the N-word again. He can't tell me what to do. That's true. You got, like, one convo? Yeah, that one convo was all I needed to give him his marching orders to protect, uh, Whitey. Oh, yeah, I've seen this one. If Vosh existed in 2003, debating unhinged fascist who denies WMDs in Iraq, I lost brain cells. 1963, woke scold civil rights movement, violent and anti-democratic party, bad optics? 1941, why it's your duty as a leftist to support Germany in its battle against authoritarian imperialist USSR. Hold on, wait. I'm pretty sure that by 1941, Hitler had already killed the Strasserites, so I would not have been alive to have made this argument. 1870, debating deranged tanky Karl Marx, irrelevant clout chaser, he hung up. I would love 
to go back in time and debate Karl Marx and call him a irrelevant clout chaser and make him hang up. That that is true. That would be content for the ages. That would be spectacular content. Mr. Beast, eat your heart out. Okay, I'll be the king of YouTube. Yet I am more of a tanky than Marx is, unironically. I one of, one of the funniest things about the like Marxist anarchist divide is that if you go back to like if right now the Marxist anarchist divide is basically like authoritarian fascists constantly betraying and killing anarchists. But if you go back to Marx's day, Mar the shit Marx wrote, like 99.9% .9 of it aligns with basic anarchist beliefs. And most of his fights with other anarchists at the time are like slap fights compared to what people who claim Marx's name in the future would do to anarchists, you know? Seriously, like if you read the shit that he said, it was so much more aligned. Um, yeah, tankies would call Marx a shit lib, 100%. Posh Khan, your vermin, random child slave. This is deeply offensive to vermin. I'll have you know. I'll take it, and I don't know whether Khan your will, but I'll say, you know, fine. Uh, this is deeply offensive to vermin on so many levels. I'm the one who's, who's Tim Cool, after all. Random child slave. This is a wild photo, by the way. I, I like how Tim is just like, Tim looks like he's leaving to the cut closet while Alex Jones has his fun. But Blair White was the one who published this photo because she had four hours with the, um, the face tuning before releasing it, you know? Crazy ass photo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Little known fact, the Virgin cartoon in the original Virgin Tad me uh, Chad meme was based on a prominent Australian neo-Nazi named Jacob Hersant. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. I guess I have no reason to believe that it, it's true or isn't, you know? I'll take it. I believe it. I choose to believe it. He's not wearing glasses, but you could make an argument for him spiritually having glasses on. The real, for me, and, and I can't believe I didn't, I can't believe I didn't put this together, but the, the, the Chud Jack guy is is a real guy. I thought there was like a face morph or something. Is this, this is this the same guy? I think that it's the same guy, I guess. Yeah, it's just it's just a remarkable phrenology. Patrick Crucius, the shooter from the 2019 El Paso shooting. Yeah, like um I, I, I know, like, I was basically streaming right after this, so I feel like I should have known this. I just, it's incredible to me that this is, like, representative. Yeah, I killed, like, 20 people. Um, <laughs> while looking like this. And now, and now he lives on forever. In, in fame, kind of. His face is indeed proof the West has fallen when we produce much men, as such men. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 23 must die or something. Incredible stuff. Holy shit. God, that looks uncanny. Breaking Ian Kuczynski's reporter replaced Tucker Carlson at Fox News. The network said Kuczynski was, quote, the only person sexist, racist, and transphobic enough to replace the media pundit. The show will feature weekly segments by Coconuts, Horses, and Tactical N-Words. This is incredibly uncanny because this is before I even lost weight. So they just slimmed me down via Photoshop. And now I have lost weight. And it looks even weirder now. Hey, boss, you're trending again? Yeah, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trending again, okay? And the reason I'm trending at this particular moment is, be <laughs> is because Will... The Rose posted this. The disconnect between the pictures of Vosh that people always use and his current appearance is incredibly funny. And it is full of a 50-50 split of people thirst, thirst posting over me and people saying that I'm disgusting and like a complete 50-50 split. Now, personally, I think the people insulting me are, are in a way complimenting me because they wouldn't feel the need to comment he looks the same in both pictures unless they didn't feel that way. So they, they don't realize that they're, they're giving the game away a little bit.
He looks so good in that pick, though. Yeah, I know. I, I, there's a reason why it gets used in so many people's hit pieces on me. Um, there's something about the symmetry of my face that that really sort of lends itself, just sort of like a, a, a male sex icon, I think, really. Flip's watching the transgenocide play out in real time. It's not finished. We can't call it a genocide just yet. You know, I am genuinely happy to see that the rhetoric around the transgenocide issue is more or less now being adopted by liberals. You know, like, I, I think it's, it's a fairly common liberal position now to go like, yeah, Republicans are basically just fascists and they want minorities dead. You know, that's like a much more common sentiment than used to be the case. And I'm happy. Aww. Rest in peace, Danil. Thank you, Sega Dun 12. That's a wonderful painting. What a beautiful little baby boy. He's a beautiful baby boy angel in baby heaven now. Miss the little guy? Yeah, I miss him too. We uh we we gave him as good of a life as we could for the uh, time we had with him. Thankfully, you know, we have Ruben, and Ruben is a wonderful baby. So, doot, 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 doot. Oh, it's like he heard his name come up. Hello? Even through sadness, there is life. Maoist will be like, this guy's a genius, and you read this shit, and it's got insane sections like, quote, a true revolutionary is never fooled by bourgeois games such as got your nose and always remembers to brush his teeth before bedtime and wipes until he sees no more poop. This is true. Maoists are completely f***ing insane. This is why there's like this weird contingent of anti-sex Maoists on Twitter, where you'll see, you'll see them like, act, not, not like anti-porn or anti-sex work, anti-sex like monks. Um, I don't know what it is about Mao. What, like, there's just some lunacy there. What was that? What was the thing they worshipped? Mao worship peach. What was that? The, oh, the mango cult. That's right. The veneration or worship of mangoes in mainland China during the Cultural Revolution period. On August 5th, 1968, Mao Zedong gave a box of Sindri mangoes given to him by the Pakistani foreign minister uh, Mian Arshad Hussein, to the worker peasant Mao Zedong thought propaganda team, real name, stationed at the Xinhua University. After this, mangoes became a symbol of Mao's affection. Instead of being eaten, they were preserved in formaldehyde or sealed in wax for veneration. Mao's gift of mangoes the workers and the rise of the mango cult coincided with a turn in the Cultural Revolution. <laughs> okay, one dentist from Fulin, Dr. Han, not that Dr. Han, saw the mango and said it was nothing special and looked just like a sweet potato. He was put on trial for malicious slander, found guilty, paraded publicly through the town, and executed with one shot to the head. This is real. This is the, this is the most sane thing a Maoist has ever done. <laughs> literally, yeah, it's literally like magic con- This is it, okay? This is the cultural revolution, except with mangoes. J just like, I, it, it defies- Comprehension. How did the mango cult stop? Decline of the cult. After more than a year, the cult of the mango had declined significantly, and some people even began using wax mangoes as candles when the power went out. <sighs> In 1974, when the First Lady of the Philippines, Imelda Marcos, visited China with a box of mangoes as a gift, Mao's wife, Jiang Qing, tried to reignite the veneration of mangoes by giving the box to the workers once again. Jiang Qing later directed a propaganda film called The Song of the Mango. This is, it's not, this isn't real. This, Maoism isn't real. It's, in, <laughs> Before the film was finished, Mao Zedong died, representing the loss of the revolutionary figurehead of the Cultural Revolution. 
Within a week of the film's release, Jiang Qing was arrested and the Song of Mangoes was taken out of circulation. This marked the end of the mango cult. I need to see the Song of the Mangoes in its unfinished state. I need to see this. Does this not, like, does this not read like the kind of shit that you would hear about in like Disco Elysium or some shit? Like while hearing some offhand unhinged shit about some foreign country in a different part of the pale or whatever. And it's like, oh yeah, the mango cult or whatever, except it's real and it really happened. Yeah, it's just taken away, vermin. The North Korean lady would say this. The North Korean lady would say this. In North Korea, you can't even eat mangoes. If you insult the mangoes, they drag you through the town and they shoot you in the back of the head. Ex except it's real! All right, boys. It's 96 minutes, all right? <laughs> Copyright? Who do you who, who do you think owns the copyright of the 1976 the the song of the mango from Maoist China? <laughs> John Mango? Ah. Is there no audio here? Was there only audio for the beginning? Or is there just like no ambient or background audio at all? Oh, I guess there's no audio for this. Sorry, guys. It's unfinished. What, did they like ADR everything back then? Jesus Christ. Hollywood is dead. In, the in 1976, in China. Dude, they're like fighting for- Oh my god. <laughs> for the mangoes. Okay, be real. Is the Song of the Mango also a uh, high-effort OKBV OK shitpost? Is this also effort posting? Is this all just a bit? You guys really outdid yourself with this one. I'm just trying to see if I can find a frame where there's like a big pile of mangoes that they just go... Oh! No, that's rice. That says rice. Wait, why does that say rice in English? Whoa. Excuse me? That says rice in English right there. No wonder this wasn't finished. Oh my god, it's counter-revolutionary. Imper Western imperialism. It says rice in Chinese too. Why would they need English there? Maybe they're exporting it. It is rice, after all. Um, they knew you would see it. It's because it's an OKBV OK shitpost. Uh, all right. Moving on. Oh, we saw that. I'm not educated enough on black separatism to define it. My sister in Christ, you started the debate on black separatism. Who was this again? Who, to, to, from whom did this line come from again? Dad Katie? Oh my god, man. This is what I was talking about the other day with, like, trying not to let very selective experiences shape your political biases or whatever. Because day to day in my life, I have never met a person be weird to me because I'm white. And then I go online and it's full of, like, fucking wannabe revolutionaries with their goddamn uh, berets on explaining how because I'm a cracker I deserve to be put to death or whatever. And, like, none of these people will say this shit in real life. <laughs> They're all focused on me. Oh, God. The VDS Compass. Humiliating Vosh again. <laughs> He's still wrong about everything, but... Stop talking about our politics and get droned already. From alt-hype, Vosh, dumber than Kraut. From non-compete, Vosh, a manipulative liar. From Mr. Tapperton, Vosh promoted capitalism and didn't even know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh, a super capitalist. Yeah, that's true. Um... I like Non-compete was, like, the only person who made a hit piece video on me that used like a regular image of me from the time. Here we have this same image as always. Here we have a Wojak. And then over here, we just have some like medieval painting or whatever. 
Credit to Namco people. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, critical support, obviously. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this was that AI program that, like, expands out from an image. So they expand <laughs> from the stream. Man, AI shit is wonky. It, dude, it honestly fucking sucks. How, it, it sucks how much, um, AI stuff is, like, a threat to real human creativity and, and industry. Because when it's used as a meme, AI programs are really fucking funny. Like, when, when it's just shit like this, you know, it's, it's really, really, really funny. And it would be n nice if there was less of a threat. The blinders on the horse morphing into headphones is so meta, though. Oh, shit, you're right. Oh, shit, dude. Look, the, the horse blinders are, are headphones. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, AI does some wacky stuff. Um, we got the Pop-Tarts down here, except that's not what Pop-Tarts look like. Incredible work. <laughs> Which side are you on? The wait for facts truther or the immediate concluder? Can hold, can't hold his opinions if new facts introduced. Waste time waiting for official reports. Needs a source. Well, based on the evidence so far, reads an entire article and still can't decide. Doesn't know exactly who's at fault. Difficulty concluding. Footage isn't high enough quality for him. Fragile could be killed with bare hands. <laughs> Versus, this is what really happened. Proved wrong, but point stands anyway. Has seen lots of Marvel movies. Instantly forms opinions to fit narrative. Doesn't read past headline before concluding. Doubles down no matter what. Chat, did I say that? Didn't think so. No time to watch footage, so just imagines it. And he would have criticized him as obsessed with them. Any other concluders in chat? I'm concluding anytime. You show me a, a picture of a cop sitting in a squad car, and I will invent the uh, story of police brutality around them. I will generate it in my mind and rotate it like a 3D image. Um, I'm concluding so hard right now. Conclusion formed, you know? Unless it's that one cop who watches my uh, Five Nights at Freddy's video. Yeah, yeah, of course not. That one's good. That's the one good cop. Incredible. Love this picture of me right here. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I love the picture anyway. Absolutely fantastic. See, more people, when they're doing hit pieces on me, they need to use this, okay? Like, they can do it in any any context they want. Like, oh, here's Vosh wandering over to the wrong conclusion or something, you know, but like, this is good. Needs to be used more. What's your favorite anti-white slur? Yakubian ape, always a banger. Yakubian, 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 Yakubian. It's listed. Is Yakubian considered to be a slur for Jews? I guess that makes sense because black Hebrew Israelites, the only people who actually use Yakub, like seriously, are also massive anti-Semites. And they think that Yakub was like an evil wizard who created white people. So it kind of makes sense that they would sort of fold that into anti-Semitism. Um, never heard of it. Uh, there are, it's, it's like a super niche, like crazy, like black supremacist, black Hebrew Israelite thing where they think there was an evil scientist called Yakub who made white people to like inflict evil on the world or something. Um, which is very funny. <laughs> that's, that's where, that's kind of like where the white devil thing comes from. Like the idea being that we're basically a race of devil people. In the beliefs of the Nation of Islam, Yakub was a black... Oh, black scientist. Uh, well, I guess it's complicated. Who lived 66... 6,600 years ago. Why not 600... Why not 6,660? Uh, and then began creation of the white race. Did this through selective breeding while living on the island of Patmos. Oh, referred to as grafting? Thou art unfit even to graft. Holy shit. Godric over here. Creating white people. Nation of Islam's mythology states Yakub is the biblical Jacob. That is very funny. Under current leader Luis Farrakhan, the NOI continues to assert the story of Yakub is true, claiming modern science is consistent with it. Sh please show the drawing. Okay, I'll show the drawing. Yakub's official portrait. See, he was a scientist, so naturally he'd have a big brain. And this is his pendant of evil or something. I don't no. I choose to believe this is real. Me too. Aww. 
the nil. Yeah, the uh, the OKBV period is going to cover the time uh, during which Danil passed, which you know is 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 sad, but again, uh, forever in our hearts. You know, what a good baby, very loved. Yeah, so much brain damage, so much scrungle. This is Voshite Erasure. Why would Hassan do this? Matt Walsh gets destroyed by Hassanabi fan. Yeah, the can the Erasure. Do you guys remember this when this? King Giga Chad. Oh, he actually was born on 9-11. Gotcha. Um, challenged Matt Walsh, and Matt Walsh got all sweaty. <laughs> Hassan does that all the time. Well, to be fair, statistically speaking, a person is more likely to be a Hassan fan than to be a fan of me. By the way, speaking of Hassan doing this silly reaction face here, you've probably noticed if you watch the videos on the channel, which you better be, but um, I, I did some photo work with Tempest and gave him a ton of me reacting to things and he's been having a ton of fun with it. Well, he and Ryan have been having a ton of fun with it, which is which is extremely funny. Did you know that like mathematically this gets you better views? <laughs> oh, you know what? We got to do it again now that I have the new glasses though because they are, these glasses are a lot more distinctive and frankly, I think I look a lot better now and that'll do better for the views. Tempest, if you're there. Tempest, there you are. Um, yeah, we have to do it again. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Tempest, like, we have, like, 300 picks of you to choose now. Yeah, we have to do it again. Sorry, Tempest. I look, yeah, I look gayer. I have to, we have to keep the theming. I hate your clickbaiting so much, but I also understand Lamau. I, I don't think, I don't think the clickbaiting we do is that bad. I mean, obviously, like, titles and thumbnails are sort of abstracted a bit to try to pull people in, but I think that, like, for the most part, there's a pretty strong correlation between what the video seems like it's going to be about and what the video is about, you know? But yeah, obviously, like, I want the channel to grow as much as possible, so. I stand by all of it. Happy Pride from the trans-affirming misogynist parrot. I buy women. Only handle me if you're a man. Based. It's so funny. Animals get like that sometimes. Remember these MFs? Barges into YouTube, promises to be a leftist bulwark against PragerU with, quote, big name presenters from Bernie Sanders to Chelsea Manning. Never makes a video with either, just sticks around on Twitter and spews tanky propaganda. Eventually just stops uploading, refuses to elaborate. I, I fully back, like, the concept of the Gravel Institute. And I, I like, e even though I disagree with some of the stuff that they said, I fully back the concept. I, it's really difficult to do stuff like this, but I feel like they could have done better, or they could have better managed their own expectations. Yeah, I think we've talked about this before. Not enough billionaire backing. It is true, PragerU does have a lot of financial backing that the Gravel Institute does not. They took down the Ukraine video. Yeah, they did. I, I don't think they're that bad. Like, some of the videos they had were pretty bad, but I never got the impression from them that they were, like, insane, like, second thought tier tanky lunatics or whatever. Who wants to be funny, doesn't want to be funny, isn't funny, is funny. But literally f***ing true. Donald Trump stays winning. Uh, effortlessly funny. And on the other hand, this is, like, the saddest f***ing guy over here. You know it burns at Elon nonstop that nobody finds him funny. You know he knows to some extent, right? He acts like a very insecure person. There's no way he's delusionally confident. Would you be able to get a nose piercing? I will never get a nose piercing. That sounds insane. I do not understand why people would want to get a nose piercing. I think they're cute on other people, but like, holy shit, you know? Like, I think nipple piercings are cute, but that looks like it really hurt to get, you know? Bosch's diet, apparently. <laughs> okay, we'll rate this, okay? Sourbite crawlers, true. Pop tarts, true. Pretzel salt, true. Coffee, lots of coffee, true. These specific air fried chicken nuggets, true. This, sometimes. None of this, of course. And then, of course, <laughs> salting the chocolate cake, obviously. Listen, I'm just trying to keep my sodium up. You know, I got my blood results back from the other day, and my sodium levels are in the low end of normal. So uh, I think what I need to do, if anything, is I need to have more pretzel salt. <laughs> the doctor's like, how's fucking alive? 
Bro is a salt lick for a kidney. Yeah, I just got a big one right next to your camera. It doesn't have it in, in frame. Where's the cream cheese bagel? I haven't been having cream cheese bagels a lot lately. Mostly just uh, bagels with a bit of uh, butter on them and salt. Uh, Bosh, check out what I drew. I'm not your friend. F off. Bosh, here's five bucks. I have this deeply personal problem. Can you help? Of course I'll help your friend. I love you. <laughs> uh, listen, okay? I try my best to manage the attention I get. It's not easy, all right? I, I think I do pretty well given the volume of attention. No streamer my size reads donos and responds to them. That's insane. Hey, Voshvi, how's it going? Is Anna Kasparian going through menopause? I'm not joking. Yeah. 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 Now, to be fair, this doesn't show how many upvotes there are, but, you know, people get a little weird in the main subs sometimes. Just, uh, a, just a little bit. How is it, how is it right now? The main thing about the main sub is that they almost never actually talk about me. <laughs> is there not a single thirst post here for, for, for anyone with my new glasses? What is wrong with you guys? It's like you guys don't even watch the streams. Here's the drawing I drew. That's an animation save point. And also, that's not me. That's just dope as hell. Chainsaw fan animation. Or Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man, good as hell. Animation, good as hell. Looking good. Nice smear frames. People on the main sub were trying to debate me out of being ace. Yeah, I think it's like... I think the main sub has kind of turned into like a refuge for all the people who are interested in being on a left-leaning sub but get auto-banned from other subreddits for not being like a full-on tanky, you know? So like either because of association with me or just because they don't believe that Ukraine invaded Russia and, and had bioweapon labs or whatever. So now just like the, 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 the audience there is um, varied. Ooh, look at how tiny he is. Scientists discover a new single cell organism. This was from only a month ago. Look at how tiny he is. Ooh. Tiny. Little creature. He was sleeping by my feet earlier today while I was just on the computer. I've got a footstool down here, and he was just, like, right underneath my heel. His little ears are so cute. Yeah. Little baby. Yeah, 100% cartilage. Not a single bone. Ooh. Cats grow fast. Yeah, they do. Yeah. How does the new baby look even more brain damaged somehow? Ooh. Love him. Well, I'm sure you'll you all already kind of figured this, but I'm happy to report that he is in good health. Uh and he is incredibly energetic. He is constantly zooming around. He likes playing with ice cubes, so sometimes we'll just take them out of the uh out of the uh, ice cube machine in the freezer and toss a few in his general direction, and he starts bapping it around like he's a hockey player. How much does he weigh? Like five pounds? More than Danil ever did. That's not what hockey is. Well, it slides around, and hockey has ice in it. And that's why Ukraine... Hey! Original art. That's why Ukraine should be supplied with the Nutbuster 3000. <laughs> Imagine popping popcorn, except... Ooh, why should we listen to a guy obsessed with sucking horse cock? What? What? That's that's not even. Don't listen to them, Vush. We all know you want to be the horse. See, this is why you guys could never understand, um, uh, the allyship that Chiwan had had towards me, because she understood that I wanted to be the horse and would argue that in in defense of me to others. You could never understand. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Bosh would drive a school bus of black kids into the Grand Canyon if given the chance. Why? Why is my head so tiny? Why'd you put me on a black person? Is the implication that I put like shoe shine all over my body as like a lure for the, for the Grand Canyon trip? Jesus Christ. Because you voted for Biden? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, 
OKBB, extremely high effort post I spent hours slaving over. Random screenshots of Mark's tweets. Nice, nice, nice picks here. Um, very true. If we might eventually reach a point where every single post is just a screenshot of my dad's tweets, which, as flattering as that is for him, uh, it is OK Buddy Vouch and not OK Buddy Mark, so we might have to engage in some selective editing there. Though I, uh, I know he appreciates the attention. Oh yeah, you can't prove God isn't real. Can human prove invisible kobolds with headache guns aren't real? I believe in these. Um, I the the problem is is that while I am wildly anti-theistic, it's also almost never productive to actually talk about anti-theism. Like I defend Reddit atheism. Okay, I am a fedora tipper. I am enlightened by my own intelligence. But at the same time, it almost never gets you anywhere to talk about it. You know, so it you just have to. You just have to sit and see, I think. POV, you're a Voshite in a different subreddit. Literally true. This is how Vosh for you got to be how it is. Oh, no! We have to watch the feels in memory of Daniil Denkovsky. Daniil. 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 You're so wobbly. You're so brain damaged. We're all brain damaged. You guys are not. That's true. Yeah? No. Blap, blap, blap. Daniel Denkowski, hello. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's so wobbly. Yeah, wow. Oh my god. I have to mute the music for a bit though, I'm sorry. Look at him. There's no copy Oh, that's sweet myths? Never mind. Look at the camera a little bit, huh? Based. Little baby. He was so hard to hold. Yeah? Okay. Oh my god, he's so energetic. Whenever we would try to hold him on his back, he would do this like fish flop. But that's okay, they'll get used to him. Yeah? Yeah. Tell it all. Yeah. Then, oh, then, then, uh, then Artemy gave Daniil an absolute thump right hey. against the carpet, right against his head. You know. <laughs> it's fine. It's, you know, it was all within the purview of good sport, but just an absolute weapon. Aww. Look, he does. He he always flopped his head back when he was held upside down. He had these like fish lips, fish face. Oh 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 oh! Hold on. Leggy. Look at your leg. What is your leg doing? Why is your leg out that far, you know? He loved flopping his head back. Look at how small he is. This is a really nice tribute. Yeah, it is. He's a good little baby. a good picture. This is such an earnest and sincere post for OKBV.
Okay, we have to stop. I'm actually going to get teary. It's too much. It's too sweet. Where's the button? There it is. I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah, it's so sweet. There's no horse joke. How can I laugh at it? Oh, hold on. This didn't contain any one of the three pre-approved OKBV OK jokes. Excellent music, by the way, Holocmaster. I think your voice sounded lovely. Um, yeah, Sweet Myths is excellent. That is true. One Piece, but for autistic people. Ha <laughs> uh, True! Actually true. Never been a better time to get into One Piece. You know, the hype is real, uh, in addition to the One Piece. Yeah, also, One Piece is One Piece for autistic people. Autistic people love One Piece. One Piece is great. Again, just gonna say, I've said it a million times before, um, One Piece is, is, is really good. You should watch it. Is the Netflix show good? I haven't seen it, but I have seen some clips that give me the impression that they're putting a lot of effort in and they're not taking it too seriously, and that's about the best you can do. One Piece is the last show or that I would want to adapt into live action, but they did, and given that they did that, it seems like they're doing well within that, you know, set of limitations. Have you considered it's too long and I have a life? That's why I read the manga. Do you think you're going to watch it? Yeah, maybe. I have no idea whether or not Vosh is actually a bad person, but this is very funny. He literally ate a cat on stream. <laughs> Got him. No. Artemy's always been big. Just a big boy. Just a big fat baby. Got to meet Vosh and have dinner with him, smiley face. Trump and f you for voting for him. True! Yeah, man, I had, a, I had a great time. Great time out here. Fake, you're not a minor. <laughs> there we go, getting on the pre-approved. Jokes again. We're working to end non-compete. Oh, shit! Biden heard the Nazis had a point line, and he's coming in hot. One pace cuts down how much time it takes to get through one pace, like 40 to 50%. It's insane. It only cuts unnecessary or non-canon stuff. I don't know how much the anime of one piece has filler. Um, the thing is, is that the manga is so long, I imagine that they could just never do filler and still have a ungodly amount of material to work with but i wouldn't want them cutting like stuff from the manga i've heard it has a lot of filler yeah mm. not even filler just dragged out scenes this list says 95 filler episodes out of 1076 that's not too bad but that's still a lot in total right i just i just can't over i, I just can't over sorry i'm tired today I just can't o uh, I can't get over the change in character design for for Nico and Nami. It hurts my my soul so goddamn much. People give a lot of shit to Oda for the way he draws women and I don't disagree, but I think it's actually a lot less weird if you're going to have them drawn with such cartoonishly hourglass proportions that it looks inhuman and it looks like it's part of the, like, stick and ball cartoony style. Whereas it seems like after the time skip, not only did she suddenly get, like, 15 shades whiter and lose her beautiful aquiline nose and get a different haircut, um, but also, like, now they're like, oh, well, we have to make sure she's sexy. So we can't have her just do the, like, rake thin hourglass thing. We have to have we have to have her like somewhat represent human proportions. The original Nami character design was also fucking great, you know, before the time skip. What we lost. Even this was later. Um, yeah, I don't I don't mind the female proportions that much when they're drawn like this. Personally, maybe people will disagree. I think this looks good from an artistic perspective, you know. Obviously, they're doing the gender thing or whatever, but it's so stylized that it looks like a a like a design choice as opposed to being a bad attempt to draw a skinny, sexy lady. Does that make sense? 
obviously it's like you can still find fault with it but i i find stuff like this like quite charming where the point is obviously just very simplified lines to give an impression of a shape Eh, you guys you guys get me but those days are long gone lads Oh yeah, here we go. There's Nami's design over time. Episode 1 where she looks like a human, and then in episode 93 they're really in leaning into that. I think it looks really nice actually. This this like we're just going to draw women as like concave lines. Let's go. I think that looks quite nice. That's a very distinct artistic style. And then they they move away from that. Look at dude, look at episode 550. What the f I can't. Oh my god, dude. The downgrade. I think it got better for Wano. It's horrifying? Yeah. It, I, okay, it definitely got better for the Wano arc. Is this from the anime? Yeah, that's a cutout from the Wano arc. That looks nice. Definitely an improvement, at least. Stop, you're pushing people away from giving it a shot. Well, we're talking about, like, the anime, not the manga. I recommend the manga. Whatever. Whatever. This is an OKBV. We're not OKBVing right now. Vosh, when someone transitions, they aren't having the creator's original intended experience. True. Listen, okay? The fundamental gameplay experience of being a man, the fundamental gender experience of being a man, okay, is not the same... <laughs> Uh, I was hoping that if I scrolled down, I'd see somebody doing an effort post, like being unironically mad about my game takes. Top 10 jobs kids want. TikTok. Wojak artist. Woke moralist. Driver. Capital D. Bureaucrat. Airbnb squatter. Holy fool. I want to be a holy fool. Highwayman slash train robber. Crisis actor. Based. Legit, probably, like, the number with the TikTok is probably actually true. Um, if you ask 10-year-olds what they want to be, they're going to say, like, YouTubers every time. It's, it's like when they're five, they say astronaut or whatever, or, like, Twain conductor. And then if you ask them if, when they're 10 and they're, like, YouTuber, you know? Yeah, not even TikToker, just TikTok. I want to be Mr. Beast. Can you believe Mr. Beast is younger than me? Be me, 19-year-old college student, crippled by Voshism. Professor asked me why water molecules bond to each other. Tell her I don't have an opinion on it because Vosh hasn't talked about it. Teacher calls me a retard. Console myself by watching a Vosh stream. Donate and tell him what happened and also ask why water molecules bond to each other. Vosh calls me a retard. My face. <laughs> yeah, dog, I'm gonna be real with you. I've got no... It's like strong and weak nuclear forces or something. I don't fucking know. Why does water bond to itself? It's like electron charges, because the outer orbits of the electron shells are c work together with hydrogen and oxygen, because they, they complete the outer orbits of the cycle thing, and then water sticks to other water because the water is sticky to water, <laughs> or something. It's, it's, it's probably very complicated. It's because water is wet, and stuff that's wet is like kind of sticky a little bit, you know? Like, like if you get a little bit of paper and you make it wet, and then if it gets on your skin, it kind of sticks there. It's because water's sticky. That's why. Water's like glue. If you look, if you zoom in on water really closely, it's like glue, basically. But like weak glue. Vita Kochinski was a black man. Holy shit, I look sunburnt. Ever wonder why tankies are so virulently anti voshist It's because the creator was black man. And America's actively working to keep the black man down. Share the truth, brothers and sisters. That's true. This is true. Um, I have never done a 23 in me, but I promise all of you that if I find anything interesting there, I will be fully insufferable about it, okay? I promise you. That's, that's a Vosh promise. Religion is harmful and stupid. No, that language is alienating. <laughs> the, oh, I don't know if these are in response to some kind of, like, religion talk that we did on stream. The pro The problem here is that, like, I, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I get a lot of email offers for religion debate, but I, I really don't want to debate religion. <laughs> like, at all. 
Um, it's such a waste. L listen, okay, over time, people are getting less religious anyway. Let's just let demographic inevitability do its work. Most masculine Vosh, right? And then he said, there is no Alden's number. I completely made it up. You're completely full of shit. I should peg him. This is the average Voshite. That is true. And, and women are very impressed when you talk about my stream escapades. I've seen many such examples. I've gotten emails and messages from people saying that they autistically riz themselves into getting a relationship by autistically rambling about uh, my streams. And uh, I, frankly, I think that's probably your guys' best bet. You know? I think, uh, I think it works. So true, my future GF seemed very interested when I explained you to her. Your future GF. Interesting. Me and my best friend's first real convo was about you, Vosh. Um, it's, it's really funny because I see a lot of this stuff firsthand. Because I've been going on more dates lately. And if you go on a date with somebody, eventually what do you do for a living comes up. And I'm not shy. Like, I'll say, oh, well, yeah, like, I'm a political YouTuber. Haha, <laughs> isn't that terrible? And then, of course, they want to, like, see the channel. Obviously, who wouldn't? And then I have to, like, and this happens every time. I have to hear their opinion on a stream they caught. And this is always the most... No one's ever said anything negative. No one's ever said, oh, I saw a stream and it was bad or whatever. But it's the idea of getting the report card back from a person who I want to impregnate is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's always a little strange. Or sometimes they find out before I even tell them. Sexual liberation, what people think it means, what it actually means. True! MGTOW. Walk away from women. I have to ask you if any of your hookups ever asked you about the horse thing. Oh, yes. You want to impregnate everyone you go on dates with? Yeah, I'm like JF Gary Epi, remember? Um, Islav, you idiot. He goes, like, across the East Coast because he wants them all to have baby with him, like that. Putting putting theory into practice. What do you even say if they bring up the horse? Okay, I this this is like a cultural shift thing or a demographic shift thing or whatever. But like it, I sw with the people that I talk to online or go out and date with, dates with or whatever. If they're like, oh, what's the horse thing? And I'm like, oh, it's it's a joke because like if I was a horse, I would like want to I would like I want to be a horse and fuck with my giant horse dick and I would be the horse. And then I say that and they're like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, obviously. Like uh, this, it's seriously not. I feel like the only reason this is a joke is because of like mimetic inertia. But it, it it's like that every single time. It's never been anything. Shouldn't you just say it's a furry thing? I'm not a furry. I fuck. Hate AI art. I'm like a. I'm like border. Doctor Strange. Strange. Zealous. What the f the shit? I can't believe it's literally me, but in Lego. That's so wild. Doctor Strange. Strange. The the fuck. Um. Did you know Doctor Strange. Strange was the person who did the um Lego sequences in Across the Spider Verse? Huh. <laughs> Hmm. Lost in the weeds there. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I hate AI art. So fun. Ah! What the no! fuck? <laughs> I just don't want to block anything. Oh, God. It's the Incredibles robot. Hmm. Is this copyright? I don't even know. Well, that's... That's copyright. Uh. <laughs> oh, right. All right, well. Free. What the... F this, see? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break it's Spider-Man! Like, from the... Across the Spider-Verse. Holy shit. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Two seconds later. Hmm. Out of oil, out of coolant, brakes are down to one inch, suspension's fucked, the car battery is actually disconnected <laughs> from every- <laughs> <laughs> These are like, unironically, like, the highest fuck 
tier of effort post. Uh, Lego stop motion animation is not easy, like at all. Holy shit. I remember that when I was describing like the mechanic talking to me about my car when I brought it in. Disconnect the suspension's fucked. The car battery is actually disconnected from every- It's so fucking good. You guys recognize the, um, the, the, the Incredibles robot design. It's so simple, but it's so memorable. Isn't it fucking crazy how good the Incredibles is? It's so good. But not as good as this. You literally made a video on how it's fascist. Well, I don't think I don't think it's fascist so much as it is an affirmation of the underlying ideological biases of like Ayn Randian like Ubermensch shit, you know? The idea being that like the 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 moral of the story basically is that you know, people with the luck to be born with superpowers have the ability to do incredible good and the ordinary people have to step back in order to give them the room to be excellent. Like like cuz in the Ayn Randian sense um, society exists to procure great individuals who should be allowed to stride above all of us like Colossus. Like, that's, that's the, that's, yeah, like the John Galt shit, right? The idea is, like, society tries to drag you down and pull you apart, um, but a great society allows great men to take hold of things. And that's kind of the moral of the movie, right? And Syndrome is, like, a representation of the embittered, like, communist, basically. Where out of bitterness and a desire to enact vengeance on the naturally superior superhumans, uh, he wants to vindictively give equality to all people. He's a parasite. Um, Syndrome isn't a communist? No, I, he's not ideologically a communist, but the threat that he offered as in his villain speech was making everyone equal. Again, I think it's a great movie. I'm just saying that, like, ideologically, the, the, the implications... Isn't that good? Well, he's framed as the villain. He is the villain. Do you think it was on purpose? No. Yeah, yeah, he's what an objectivist would think of a, a, a communist. Yeah. So good. Hello. Looking good, sugar. Oh, you're sweet. Looking good, sugar. Hello, human resources. This is that, um... I, I know this. I was the last person to find out about this, and everyone treated me as though I knew about it, and I didn't know about it. And because I didn't know about it, I, I, I was stubborn and didn't learn about it until, like, a while afterwards. That's the VTuber that had the AI audio of sucking off a horse? Yes, that is what it is referring to. The audio was fucking wild. You listened to it? <laughs> what? They're like famous VTubers and people got AI audio of their voices and made them, uh, the, the AI audio say shit like, yo, it's, it's me. It's, it's your boy, pink haired anime girl. And I'm here with 27 horses. I'm going to suck them all off or something. Um, and it was a huge meme. You didn't listen to it, Vosh? As much as I would love to play into the meme for you guys and, like, be the stereotype, I'm really sorry, but no, I didn't. Listen, okay? Here, here's the memetic answer, all right? I didn't listen to it because uh, I don't support AI art. That's why. Well, oh, wait. You think I would denigrate myself by listening to AI art? Now, obviously, if that was authentic human artistic performance, then sure, right, go ahead. But AI art? Nah, absolutely not. Yeah, there you go. Finally, Voshite's merch, uh, merch has hit Walmart. Wanted to get a cute sign for my son's room. What the hell is this? I like to party. And by party, I mean stay inside and harass women online. Eat, slur, game, repeat. Just five more N-words. I went outside once. Too many minorities. Is this real? It's probably not real. It's a good Photoshop if it's not. It's probably not real. It's very funny, though. Is this like a Spencer's or something? I have no idea. Just five more N-words. Uh, so an AI graphics generator thinks I look like this. Oof! 
Man, get dropped from your RT gig and get so cucked by Voshism that even AI decides. What, what, what does a socialist look like? I'll show you. The glasses even look like the ones that I tend to wear. Not anymore. God, that's funny. Spiritually absorbing him, yeah. No one will remember Caleb. He claims that RT is still paying him. I mean, maybe they have, like, an ongoing contract that was unaffected by the network cancellation. I mean, maybe, uh, but he's not doing anything for them. Uh, you know, like... The vanguards in 1984 be like, vote third party if you live in any of these 49 states. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine being even remotely left-leaning in 1984 and then seeing the actual fucking Reagan sweep? Can you imagine? I would, like, for real, Roblox... <laughs> Literally, fuck that, dude. Well, the opposition was just as bad. I don't know anything about Mondale. I, I literally, I zero things. I know zero things about the Democratic candidate. Um, Walter Mondale. Wow, he looks creepy. Holy shit. Oh my god. He looks like an alternate universe, Mister Rogers, where the the lesson that you learn from every episode is to stay the fuck out of his neighborhood. Yeah, he's got fucking... He's, he, he's got Mike Ehrmantraut's dead fish eyes. Walter. All right, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go over to the polling booth. You're going to enter my name. You're going to put it in. And you're going... <laughs> I think I'm mixing up Bernie and, and, and Ehrmantraut a little bit. Um, Walter. No half votes, yeah. Do you like Better Call Saul? Yeah, of course. Obviously. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not doing a research stream right now. How did Reagan sweep? I don't know that much about Reagan's elections, but he was always very charismatic. I mean, he was literally an actor. Uh, and I don't think that his opposition mounted much of a defense. He also took advantage of Cold War paranoia. Uh, pretty effectively, I believe. He, he survived an assassination attempt. He was also the incumbent for that election, right? I missed one? Did I skip one? Oh, yes, I did. The Marxists, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters, and people who, in many instances, have absolutely no clue what they are doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, booting up the Discord server, like. Vonch's worst nightmare. My 25 male subs, 23 female, 26 male, 22 male, 28 male, 28 male, have you? <laughs> yeah, nice try. Um, I, uh, I do not have the emotional energy to deal with, uh, that many bottoms. I'm sorry. I just, I don't. Maybe some people do. I don't. From enough Bosch spam. I used to rank arrogance on a scale of 1 to Kanye, and I think that Vosh just broke my scale. Zero bad takes, 1 billion debates won, father of socialism, yep, must be Vosh. I love this style of titling, I should do it more often. Enough Vosh spam, otherwise known as my third subreddit, yeah. Extremely sincere title, unironically, yes. What about site subs unionizing? That's even worse. Could transition have saved her? <laughs> Unironically, it genuinely is fucked up how women can have kind of like a small recessed chin and it can be part of a cute like almond shaped face. But if a guy has a small chin, it's like fucking over. It's not actually over, but like, holy shit, the difference in acceptability is massive between whether you're perceived as a man or a woman in the case of having, like, a smaller chin, you know? Holy shit, it's such a big difference. It is very funny that Leafy looks like this, though. He's, uh, uh like, a, a washed-up loser. He looks like a washed-up loser. Um, his entire life has kind of geared him towards the insecurity and self-hatred he never got over when he was younger, and he will never change. I mean, maybe he will. Probably won't. Let's put you outside, little guy. All life is precious. I don't like Hollywood's The Striking Writers Can Go to Hell for All I Care. True! Um, you know, it is kind of nice to see, though, that culture has broadly sided with the striking workers. We are in union season. 
You know, we are we are in like an unprecedented era of worker rights advocacy. Strange hand must be AI. Yes, that's true. Al Turd loves the uh, the AI art. Conservative society after boycotting all the corporations to celebrate Pride Month. True. Actually true. Return. And they would be right to do it, too. Return. Isn't it so fucked up that, like, 10,000 years ago, people were basically the same? Like, biologically, people were basically the same. So 10,000 years ago, you know for a fact that you have, like, your boys on the farm at the beginning of agriculture doing the 8,000 BC version of whatever stupid bits we do today, where you've, you've the boys out there just doing stupid shit. Those are Cro-Magnons. Yes, these are not humans 10,000 years ago, but they didn't have microplastics, so it's not the same. Yeah, I guess so. That's pretty essential to, like, the modern brain state. That and lead in our brains. What the fuck is this? I swear they are just like Jet, but with even less justification for their action. Imagine comparing colonized peoples and their politics to a fucking children's show character because you fucking get your politics from a streamer. Fuck, you're heavily unserious people. Black left Twitter going hard on Voshites. Wait, weren't y'all literally comparing Shark to Uncle Ruckus and the guy from Django numerous times? Wait, Jet literally was a colonized person who... Okay. D the, dude, the... Okay, the episode with Jet was insufferable for several reasons. However, like, politically, the whole point was, yeah, okay, watch Avatar The Last Airbender, is the point, okay? They can't engage with media? Yeah. Jet is a comrade? No, well, the point is he's, he's not really one, right? Um, I actually, I really like the way they handled Jet as a character, because in a bad story, what they would have had happen was Jet would have been like a militant pro-Earth Kingdom uh, liberation fighter, and Aang would have been like, whoa, dude, you've gone too far after Jet, like, fights some Fire Kingdom soldiers and is, like, mean about it or whatever. But the thing that actually takes him over the line isn't him fighting off the soldiers, it's him, like, killing a whole town of people, you know, and civilians too. It's, it's very clear where the line is, and it's not just, like, liberal civility politics bullshit where it's like, Jet is bad because he fights or whatever. Because there are bad shows that would have done that, where it's like, oh, Jet, if you actually want peace for your people, you need to, like, reason with the fi Fire Kingdom, or you need to help refugees or whatever. But no, they're totally fine with Jet, like, running guerrilla warfare raids and, like, beating the shit out of Fire Kingdom soldiers and, like, realistically killing them. Because, like, in The Last Airbender, they don't show people dying, but people obviously die like, all the time off-screen, and it's not even remotely subtle. They can't show it because it's a cartoon on Nickelodeon, but they obviously get killed all the time, you know? You just described Bioshock Infinite's revolution? Yeah, but that's the thing that made Bioshock Infinite kind of fucking bad, you know? Like, the final enemies that you face in Bioshock Infinite are the black and brown people who were literal slaves under the, um, the white-owning class in Colombia, that's pretty fucking weird, man. Like, that's pretty, that's pretty strange. Especially, like, it would have been one thing, okay, it would have been one thing if there was, like, a series of incidents that led them to distrust Booker DeWitt, and they end up turning on Booker DeWitt for reasons that aren't really associated with their moral turn, right? Like, if, if Booker DeWitt had promised something, but then due to, like, time shenanigans because Elizabeth was opening portals everywhere, like, he fucked up or something got confused or whatever, and they're like, whoa, hold on, you're, you're not Booker DeWitt. That's kind of what happened. The, the reason they started firing on Booker DeWitt is because Booker DeWitt jumped timelines, and he moved to a timeline where Booker DeWitt was a revolutionary hero, revolutionary hero and died. So when Booker DeWitt shows up in that timeline, they're all like, he died several years ago, and you are definitely a fake, and we are going to kill you, because what the fuck? And that makes sense. But then you confront the leader of, of the Vox Populi, and she's like fucking crazy evil? For no reason. Like, like... I understand them turning on you because you, from their perspective, are back from the dead. But then you confront the leader and she's like, I, we got to kill all the whiteies. And then she finds like a six-year-old white boy to stab to death or something. And it's like, what? why? She didn't act anything like this in, in the thing, you know? 
And and then she gets killed by Elizabeth, and her getting killed by Elizabeth is like Elizabeth's coming of age moment. It's really gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What makes a girl a woman blood? I remember. Yeah, wait, hold on. Keep in mind, the leader of the Vox Populi was like totally reasonable the entire game up until the timeline jumping. If the implication was that the timeline jumping made her crazy, like you entered a timeline where she was crazy, then why did Booker DeWitt work with her in that timeline? Does anyone understand what I'm talking about right now? Look, look at this. This is, this is, this woman, the leader of the Vox Populi, was responsible for organizing and leading an armed revolt of slaves against the white owning class on this floating magical city. Kill that child. Booker, we have to do something. We have to act. We have to get in there. Come on, Booker, we've, we've got to get out of here. Boost me up. Go to the window and distract Daisy. Go! Is this it? Is this your movement, Daisy? This is what needs to be done. You see, the founders ain't nothing but weeds. Cut them down and they just grow back. If you want to get rid of the weed, you've got to pull it up from the root. It's the only way to do it. Yeah, this is literally just like fear of retribution bullshit. Daisy Fitzroy was totally reasonable the whole fucking game. And then it's like, oh, well, now she's, like, crazed with blood in her face. Like, oh, no, actually, we have to kill all the whiteies. Like, what the, what the fuck? Why? She, she, was, she was, like, fine. Yeah, it's like a both sides thing. At the, end of the, at the end of this game, you're fighting against two equally evil sides. The black and brown revolutionaries who want freedom and the, like, ultra-evil tyrant Christian nationalist white slave owners, you know? Like, ah, I, Booker DeWitt, the ultimate centrist, you know? The centrism shit really fucks the whole point of the game and the ending, too. Because, like, centrism, political centrism in this context, for one, is very reactionary. And for two, like, that's not very Bioshock, right? Like, you're not a centrist in the first Bioshock game. You're just an observer who enters a, a place ruled by a specific ideology. And in encountering that place and dealing with its problems, you engage with critiques of that ideology, right? It was like objectivism in the first one, and it was like communism or, or pluralism in the second. And then for Bioshock Infinite, it's like, well, actually, we didn't, we didn't want to go too hard criticizing white supremacy as an ideology, so we had to make sure that black supremacy was also on the table for criticism. And it's like, really? Okay, sorry. Booker was a literal Pinkerton and participated in the genocide of the Native Americans. Yeah, which makes it especially weird that he would end up going in this direction too. Like, listen, what better redemption for a Pinkerton than killing five billion white supremacists, which is most of this game, you know? Yeah, I saw Iron Pot. I played the DLC. I played the DLC, yes where the time-traveling twins were like, actually, we had to have this happen so that Elizabeth would become a woman or whatever. Um, yeah. Karl Marx solving the electricity crisis. Karl Marx rolling in his grave. Yeah. True. I'm glad he, uh, I'm glad Karl Marx didn't live to see what fucking monstrosities of ideologies uh, his, his writing was, were used to justify. Hunter Avalon becoming left-wing to avoid the conservative divorce <laughs> Wait, didn't Hunter Avalon get a divorce after this meme was made? Oh my god. I guess it couldn't I guess he couldn't escape it. Well that's fucking prophetic. Or maybe the opposite of prophetic. Sorry, the, the divorce bullet was fired a while ago, long before he actually changed his mind. That means he's still right wing. Yeah, I guess it's because he didn't become a communist. It went well, though. He didn't hate each other. Like, yeah, the difference being that the conservatives who divorce each other, it's usually like it turns out that they were like raping their wife every day or whatever. And with um, with Hunter Avalon and Chris Avalon, it, they're still friends. Just, you know, people grow and change. 
That happens when you get married at like 18 or whatever. Not to say it can't ever work, but holy shit, I have changed so much since I was 18. I cannot imagine getting married at that age. Dad! What's up? Vouch dad is undercover. To be fair, this is also just a classic dad uh, profile picture. Um, but yes, he's going in. It's the dad pick, yeah. The myth of consensual divorce. I can send, I can send, I don't. Isn't there someone you forgot to ask? Still fighting for this. The Steven Crowder arc has been so funny, man. He has lost so much relevance. It's incredible how in an environment where it feels like conservative pundits can get away with doing basically anything bad and not lose their audience, he actually managed to lose a significant portion of his audience. He was that bad, you know? He was that, uh, I guess, deplorable. Truly remarkable. One study said that trans people, this isn't what she sounds like at all, can spontaneously combust into confetti. There might have been maybe a few problems with it, though, so no one really knows. Uh, her video on the trans stuff was way worse than her video on capitalism, but man, she really needs to stick to her lane. Regularly participate in horsecock food and Ari roleplay anonymously online. Realize there's a non-zero chance I may have interacted with Vosh. Immediately quit and turn my life around. <laughs> Please don't post stuff like this. Just keep it to yourself, okay? <laughs> Be in inspiring people to be better just through the fear that their degeneracy may have led them to cross paths with me. Many such cases. Vorsch and Victoria 3. Fascist party. Ideologies. Communist, liberal, anti-clerical, Republican, anti-slavery. True! Got it all together. I saw that people actually added me to Victoria 3, or maybe it was Hearts of... I don't know. People... Something or other. I've seen a lot of people say they like Victoria 3 a lot. People were saying, like, the mechanics of the game were, like, pro-lefty or something. DRPG would never be a Vosh right state. Age of Consent and DPRK. 15? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Juicius looking a little bit sussy right now. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't like what they're cooking over there. I mean, the, 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 the Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-il, they're probably like all pedophiles, right? Mao was a pedophile. Stalin was a pedophile. We have to assume that all of these leaders are uh, pedophiles. It's a reasonable assumption. Bosh, what do you think of girls with strong jawlines? You will never feel better about yourself if you seek my opinion for approval. Uh, whatever you are, there are many people who will like it. But what, whether or not I belong to that group uh, is, is, is immaterial to your interests. You have to like girls with big jaws, is what has to happen. What the fuck is wrong with women? I remember this. This was something about women wanting to be, like, beaten to death or something. I don't fucking know. Alfie or Alfie B or was, was, was cooking something. What was the... Missing context here. I remember. Conservatives living in the wilderness after boycotting every company existence for going woke. Um, primitive technology sure is a banger channel, huh? Really gives you an appreciation for how much ingenuity there was to even, like, pre-civilization humans, you know? Like, we, we, you know, we, like, we today, modern humans, like, we fuck things up constantly, even simple things. And it's like, oh, even for the most, like, basic shit back then, they were all doing, like, shit, like, complicated, like, masonry and, 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 and cord tying and all this stuff. Aren't they fake? I'm pretty sure that primitive technology is widely considered to be one of the most authentic channels of its kind. I've never heard anyone say otherwise. I don't, I don't think that anything that he's done is fake, or would be for any reason. There's a lot of fake types of it, but primitive tech is real. Yeah, but he also doesn't do anything that you would have to fake. Because he's not, like, pretending to live out in the forest. He comes out here, sure, but what he's basically just showing is, like, technology in a big backyard or whatever. He's not, um... Like, there's nothing here that he even could fake. 
he shows that he builds a kiln with mud, and like, okay, he built the kiln with mud. Like, how do you fake that? The kiln is there, made of mud. You know? Good channel. Like son, like father. TPUSA contributor. Birth control is a scam. We like the patriarchy. It's not all bad. Oh, she's like the uh, trans Barbie. Then get back in the kitchen and breathe. What? Uh. <laughs> is this real? It's definitely it's definitely real. It's definitely real. Stay to the main sub right now. Should Italy invade the Vatican City and end the Pedo Pepsi? I'm being serious. Oh. By a 3 to 2 majority it looks like. Yeah. Why not? You know, considering the fact that the current president of Italy is a Mussolini stan, and the original Mussolini did have a standoffish and almost militaristic relationship with the Vatican, maybe she will, like, finish the job, you know? Maybe, maybe like, it's it, she's going to carry the torch forward. The main sub has fallen. Billions must die. That's the prime minister. Prime minister, my mistake. Okay. Probably not anonymous 75. I, I still, there are, there's like a lot of new Fully Cooly content that I haven't seen because fuck, it's all bad. Duh, nah. My granddad after one Vosh video? Based. Looking good, Gramps. Looking good. Beret and the, the Hawaiian shorts and everything. Only place I get my American news from. Where do you get your news? CNN, NPR, Reuters. True. If, uh, ironically, if you're getting your news from fucking CNN right now, the fucking Hitlerite organization, you need to reassess your priorities, okay? CNN has been putting out some certified fucking dog shit lately. NPR and Reuters is fine. Yeah, but I read NPR and Reuters, and then I distill the important parts, that is to say the funny parts that I remember, and also the stuff that I misremember on my stream. Critical support for Matt Gates is critical support for AOC. Justin. Rep Matt Gate and AOC introduce a bipartisan bill to ban Congress members from trading and owning stocks. Do you support this? I remember this. It'll literally never happen, of course, but you know. Fun to dream. What happened? Why suit? First uh, OKBV okay, stream. Can't blame you. They don't happen often. BDS are in the wild. <laughs> I know. It's so racist, but it's so fucking funny how. When a just small community of people online had a disagreement with Shark 300, a person who was always right, by the way, immediately, in lieu of having any fucking argument against me, they were like, oh, well, yeah, it's because you're an Uncle Tom. Yeah, it's because you're, you're Uncle Tom. Vosh, uh, Vosh owns you. Slave, you're a slave. Vosh owns you. Literally, like, like that. Like, no time. They hate Shark? Yeah, they, they, dis they hate Shark the same way that uh, Nazis hate white progressives more than they hate non-white people they like members of hate groups despise their own who who turn on them more than any other group you know that is the main group that they hate i'm strongly pro-choice and encourage liberals to abort their kids <laughs> your mother mr chance hi dad uh hi dad A higher share of the Trump vote is associated with higher fertility. Yeah. Um, it's it's like the rural-urban divide, mostly. I think the people in rural areas tend to have more kids um, and, and less access to abortion, and they just generally can support more kids. So they're, uh, they're, they're breeding out there in the countryside. Of course, the funny thing is that even though rural families tend to breed more, those kids then fi can't find a job when they become adults, and they go over to cities. <laughs> That's where cities get their population from. City populations increase in large part because people from rural areas move there, not just because of internal population growth, meaning that the, um, the, the factor still works in our favor. They all become liberals eventually. Trans women aren't real women. This is the downfall of our culture. We can always tell if people are secretly trans. Constantly call Swiss women trans. We need to lock up the transes. Fuck off, bigot. AI art isn't real art. 
This is the downfall of our culture. We can always tell if art is made by AI. Constantly calls human art AI art. We need to genocide the STEM lords. Oh my God, base so true, kill them all. Ah, I can see this is a meme contribution from the fine people of the, uh, uh, the, the stream discussion Discord. Nice to see them contribute to the discourse. Uh, unironically. Guys, I don't give a fuck the how fuck? you degenerate Canadians pronounce it, okay? I'm America. Your legislators had to pass laws to force your media companies to produce local stuff because you were just watching our TV, reading our books, watching our movies. You have no independent culture. Everyone just thinks of you as politer Americans. Mexico has a distinct culture. You guys don't. You're still subject to the crown. Now it's a fucking king and he's a pedophile. Uh, you're not even a real country. 99% uh, of your land is uninhabitable tundra. Uh, you you get your, your asses beat by mooses. All right. That's why I don't pronounce your shit correctly. Also, you have Quebec. Wow, the uh, stabilization really worked. You could barely see any shake during the uh, video. This is because you said Ontario wrong? Yeah, true. It, it is genuinely true that Canada deserves, like, no respect. It is very funny how Mexico has this incredibly robust, unique, vibrant culture and gets a ton of tourism, and Canada is just polite America, and they literally have to instate laws to force more Canadian TV on the air because most people just watch American TV, you know? No fucking culture. I mean, Quebec has its own culture. Yeah, and it's bad. It's Quebec culture is worse than Canada or France. It's, it's worse than both. Oh my god, is that my fucking dad? What if you're interested in dudes that don't sound like whiny losers? Vosh still lives with his parents. Chuck, maybe you should learn something about reality. If I did live with my parents, I'd be proud of it, because my parents are based as hell. Also, my mom cooks good, tasty meals. And so does my dad. My dad used to be a cook, so, you know. Dude, what the fuck? Why is this sitting down here in the 600s? This is good as hell. Unfortunately for you, I have gathered all the coconuts on this island. Holy shit, dude. This is like... Oh, thank... God, that opened. On the desktop. I meant to open a new image. Woo! Alright, well. That's, that is what I was opening a new image for. Um, Jesus. Why don't you have a computer just for work? Looking at drawings of, um, of, uh, of, of furry, uh, horse babes with big dicks is work. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, this is dope as hell. I, I really like this. Look at the detail on the face, man. Yeah, Cruelis Rex, you, you knocked it out of the park. There is insane detail here on everything. On the, the, the throne of coconuts, the torches, the fact that I'm in the wreckage of the plane, like the, the, the fucking psycho experience. This is so good. Yeah, this is the Coomer stare, exactly. Yeah, the, dude, oh my god, the horse, the horse, the horses at the edge of the text box? Oh my god, dude. You are very talented. Holy shit. So fucking good. The U is a horseshoe? The U is a horseshoe. So good. Massive respect. Well, Miss Flowers, I think I may have found the underlying- Oh no flaw in your deduction. You seem to be under the assumption that decolonizing a country necessarily involves the removal of everyone of a certain heritage or ethnicity when that is not the case. Uh. Getting rid of a colonial agency in an imperialist country or ousting a puppet government is not the same as getting rid of every white person in a country because not every white person is some scheming colonial bureaucrat. Okay, so far this is something that i would say wait i was something it's fucking the other shoe was gonna drop or soldier some white people are gonna be part of the middle to lower class and a lot of people are gonna be mixed race 
They do not have the responsibility to leave the country they grew up in. It is merely politicians and state agents that have to do so or just be disenfranchised. Ameliorate. It is a class that needs to be gotten rid of, not the ethnic group of that class. Hope this helps ameliorate our misunderstanding. Kill crackers, kill crackers, kill crackers, kill crackers, kill crackers, kill crackers. Okay, yeah, that was that was basically just how the debate went, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was I was I was waiting for the other shoe to drop and for, you know, something irresponsible to come out. But yeah, that was basically just like a shortened version of the debate. If the original was on YouTube, you know, no issues here. He ameliorated the debate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What what is this? These are these are the only real sexualities, okay? You have the top and you have the bottom, and then you're either being smug or enjoying yourself, okay? And then you have you so you have the traditional dynamic where the top is being smug and the bottom is enjoying themselves, right? And then you have the like like mutual soft boy or trans beard or whatever, where they're both wooing the whole time. Okay. You have the very real and insufferable dynamic where both the top and the bottom are being smug, leading every fucking sexual encounter to be a the mutual witticism fucking haha. I don't even care that we're having sex right now. Haha. Um, and then over here you have what I have to assume is some kind of Giga Chad, you know, existence where only the bottom is the smug one, right? Like it's power bottoming, uh, but it's I, I have to assume this is a strong dynamic, though I have not experienced it and I don't know much about it. Why are they yawning? <laughs> I'm I'm twelve, and why are they yawning? It's such a funny drawing. I agree. Uh, holy shit. Posted this a while ago and everyone doubted me. Well, who's laughing now? Oh my god. The lineup. I don't know about this timeline. I don't know about this timeline of events here, but yeah. Hey, listen, okay? Um, Jenk and Anna might currently be on the uh, gas leak pipeline arc. But how about that um, Brianna Joy Gray, Kyle Kalinske, and uh, Crystal Ball debate? Uh, sorry, I drank too much water. Mm. How about that shit? But Lacey Green? That was like... Didn't... Wasn't Lacey Green like a basic liberal feminist YouTuber and then... Was it was it like Chris Raygun who she got with or something? I don't. Wait, what did she do? Chris Raygun's cool. That was ages ago. It was like yeah, that was like an old Gamergate thing. You guys, a lot of you don't even know what the dynamic was like back then. Okay, back then, like the whole dynamic was the most left leaning person on YouTube was somebody with horn-rimmed glasses, explaining how women only make 79 cents for every dollar a man makes. And on the opposite side, you had a coalition of covert neo-Nazis and the majority, and the majority were like dudes who like video games, who look like they binge read Penny Arcade or Control-Alt-Delete, and who think that people like the feminists want to take their games away. And that was the whole dynamic. And leftism wasn't even a thing. Leftism didn't even exist back then. Like, there were no socialists on YouTube. It was not, it was, it was not real, okay? It was just so... Oh, man. Isn't Penny Arcade woke? I, I don't even know how to answer that question. Don't be fooled by big old socialist titties. They're meant to hypnotize and enslave your ass. That's, he did say this, yes. 
you're a Hittite? Does that mean you fuck animals? No, our legal code explicitly bans sex with animals except mules and horses. Is this a real thing? Wait, new ideology? Hittite. Ancient Anatolian, modern-day Turkey people who formed an empire between 1600 and 1180 BC. Ruled over their kingdom, worshipped storm gods. Okay, wait. Control F horse. Many of these articles do not provide specific punishments, but prior to the law reforms, crimes against religion were most often punishable by death. These include incestuous marriage and sexual relations with certain animals. For example, one article says, quote, if a man has sexual relations with a cow, it is an unpermitted sexual pairing, he will be put to death. Similar relations with horses and mules were not subject to capital punishment, but the offender could not become a priest afterward. Every friend group has the pedophile, pedophile, racist, war criminal, war criminal, pull by. Oh, I think, I think I'm Noam Chomsky. Uh. Dude, Noam Chomsky is so fucking wild. Imagine being one of the most cited academics in all of human history and unironically doing the whole NATO prompted the Russian invasion of Ukraine bit. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not reading this. Not reading this out loud. Not real, not reading. Real tweet from Jordan B. Peterson. Let let no, I can't I cannot do a Jordan Peterson voice. Let the girl with the biggest dick win. That's the best I can do. It's not that good, I know. Let the girl with the... No. Let the girl... No. Nah, it was the best first. Just do a Kermit. I, I I didn't watch the Muppets. I don't have like a strong internal Kermit. I don't, I don't remember. Let the girl... Hey. Let the girl with the biggest dick win. <laughs> Hold on. How do I... Hey. That's goofy? That's not goofy. Kermit sings. Hey everyone, today we're gonna sing a little, uh, little uh... This isn't Kermit's voice, that's a YouTuber. You want the mic? Okay, you do it. Let the girl with the biggest dick win. Yep, that was a lot better than anything I'm gonna do. There we go. Yeah, this is a lot better. She says she's throwing a Rocket League match for that. This is this is why teamwork truly does make the dream work. Main sub is cooking. From enough Vosh spam, common Stalin W. Thoughts on Vosh? Vosh is a reactionary. His videos are anti-communist and they are designed to make communism and socialism look bad. He is a fascist and should be dealt with as such. Uh, whoa! Stalin wouldn't say that about fascists. Um, if he thought I was a fascist, he would want to strategically ally with me for several years while engaging in shared... Um, uh, uh, invasion of, um, of neighboring countries. My adventure to Superman being a love letter to all things Superman while being horny as hell is a dream come true. If you think this is horny, you're a porn addict. Oh yeah, I think I respond to this saying, uh, be serious. This is unironically a dumb take. Um, the, the, I, from what I've seen in clips of the show, it is obviously meant to be horny, and disagreeing with that is, is just silly. Man, I really hate Reddit's image thing, not letting you, like, zoom in properly. Um, like if you if you seriously think that this is not like look at the way Lois is dressed the the like t the clothing hugging her ass and her breasts have her shirt hanging in front of where her stomach like obviously like if you think this is horny or porn I think okay this is unironically something I believe I genuinely think that the internet is making people unable to distinguish something being horny or lewd from something being outright pornography. Lots of things, when drawn or done in real life, are horny or sexual or whatever that aren't just fucking porn, okay? You can give a person a look or a little gesture that is horny, but it's not porn, or like even remotely, you know? I, I feel like the lines on this are getting so blurred. Mary has had bad takes like this before. Eh, she's she's a wild card, you know. 
people call everyone on Twitter porn addicts for easy likes. Yeah, this one feels particularly out of pocket to me, you know. Oh. Yeah, I saw this. I, I already have this saved because that's such wonderful wonderful uh, fan art. I saw this right after uh, Dino passed, yeah. Beautiful painting of our little baby boy. Our stupid, scrumbly little baby boy. Aww. It's true. Oh, look, this is before Pigeon got all those, um, all those spots on her face to make her look more scrungly and gargoyly. That's all right. We're keeping it on. Artemy's healthy. Artemy had high calcium for a bit, but now he's back healthy. Um, Pigeon's heart thing is fine. The HCM thing is fine. And Ruben is healthy. We got healthy cats. High cholesterol. No, his cholesterol is fine. He's a healthy fat baby. We have not seen Artemy in a while. Uh, yeah, Artemy tends to um, uh, rest during the time that I stream. He's very active during like midday and when I wake up. He's, oh, he's always with me when I wake up. He's always by me when I wake up. So cute. Hold on. Doot, doot, doot. I'm too sack I'm too I'm too sappy. I'm too gay. Like the the Neil picks. Why is he dressed up? Ah, uh, it's just a pick from when we had um had him outside. Is Jackie Chan just Chinese speedy Gonzalez? True. No, I don't think I did actually. Look. Yeah, a while ago, before Danil even passed, uh Vermin got a custom Danil plushie. See? Look how cute that is. He has a very recognizable face, so it's pretty it's pretty easy to you know. It's by Wonky Plush, yes. Cute little baby. Very fluffy too. Does his head flop? He in a headbang. Dun 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 dun. Show his toes. He's got he's got beans. See? Cute little baby. Something down right there. Hello. Oh. Asking he shall receive. Oh, we got a boy. Anthony. Oh god, he's bringing him. Oh. Carry him from the basement. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Look at this man. Get cat hair all over my suit. <laughs> Moron. Oh, oh, wait. This is very difficult. There we go. Got him. Got him. Yeah, they're getting they're getting along. Whoop. Look at how well behaved Artemy is being. Good job. Yes, good good family photo. I could not have Pigeon there as well. That would have been too much. That would have been too much baby. Oh, man.
There we go. Sorry. Alive again. Is Jackie Chan just Chinese Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> the real oppression. Black Lives Matter? What about deadbeat husband lives matter, huh? Where's the equality? The podium is yours. I'm going to be fine with your jokes, but I'm not sure about dark branding. <laughs> oh, you're you know, I think it's kind of telling. I think it's interesting that normally him doing this would end the meme, but it didn't end the meme. You know, I think there's there's something about him being like a 500 year old man. That makes stuff like that a lot less cringe inducing. It kind of did. I still see plenty of Dark Brandon stuff. You know, it definitely isn't treated like it's cringe. Um, maybe it's toned down a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, the semi irony of it. If Vosh were alive in the 1800s, he would definitely be a plantation owner, just like his fellow Democrats, and claim that he is a quote ethical one who is quote different from the others. Bosch would also claim he is actually, quote, fighting racism by raping his slaves, just like how he thinks jerking off to trans porn is, quote, fighting transphobia. anti voosh fan fiction is an underexplored genre. Glad to see it picking up trash. <laughs> you know what really would have owned me? If this was 20 times longer and on AO3. Um, so fucking weird, dude. Ooh, little Ruben. Sorry, one, one more. Little Reuben. Little Reuben. Oh, am I being annoying to you? Well, have you considered that you're annoying to Pigeon? Ooh. Look at how sleepy he is. Wow. Mm, be free. Ah, so cute. So cute. Now he's just licking his butt right down where I set him. <sighs> Children yelling, McDonald's, 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 we have food at home. Or send the drive through as children cheer, order single black coffee and leaves. McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. That is true. Well, wait, hold on. We know for a fact that Marx was a scrungly little bitch himself. I think that Marx also would have been screaming McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Um, I, I, or at least I think he would have been closer to this corner of the, of the triangle, you know? In my opinion. Lenin is for sure black coffee, though. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. 100%. Me and my British friend made this political compass, but only for conservatives. On the evil, funny, stupid, boring axis. Reagan was funny? I guess I don't know much about Reagan. Stone toss? Oh, you, you guys have a very different definition of funny than me. Stone Toss is capable of being funny with some of the punchier comics, but he's so desperate to do, um, uh, to post Nazi shit that a lot of his um, punchlines are incoherent. You have to be in on like 50 fucking terminally online references and dog whistles to understand what the fuck he's saying, you know? Very, very much an example of politics getting in the way of comedy. Dave Rubin on the boring and stupid corner right here is very, very correct. Thatcher, evil. The evil... S knowingly evil versus not. 
Oh shit, I didn't see Liz Trust down there. Fantastic. Off the fucking axis. So goddamn funny. Isn't it crazy how Britain's not even a real country anymore? I have to say, though, I think that Elon Musk has to be farther into the boring category. Elon Musk is without, like, genuinely without exaggeration, one of the most unfunny people I have ever seen or heard of in any context. I think that, like, actually it's exceptional how unfunny he is. Like, the, he is fun- yeah, he's funny in the sense that the antics he gets into are funny in- because he fucks up, but does that count as being funny? You know, I don't think that should count. If it's funny to watch a person fuck up all the time, then you're kind of skewing stupid and funny. They're kind of bleeding into each other, you know? He's funny from his stupidity. Okay, but then we're kind of blending it together a little bit. True. Schadenfreude funny, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but does that count? I think you spelled it correctly, uh, Vermin. Did you see him claim he only killed terminally ill monkeys in the Neuralink experiment? Oh, yeah. To, somebody was like, all you've done so far with Neuralink is kill monkeys. And he was like, actually, because we knew there'd be risks, we only use terminally ill monkeys. Just completely making shit up. Like, just no. He'll just say, like, any shit. Like, any researchers would invest money in testing... Uh, neural interface devices with terminally ill monkey like no one would ever do that he said that yeah he did yes today he said that today i hope the u.s loses the war in iraq me too <laughs> why do people take my words out of context so much i just don't get it also vouch every stream and uh while i'm at it i think the greatest country in the world is france what do you think oui, oui. And, and, and you know Truth be told, I'm not a very big fan of the black people. And, and if I would go back in time, the one person in history I'd like to make tap out would have to be Jesus. Who do you ever be? Kurt, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's very funny. What the fuck? What is this? I, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I don't know what this is in reference to. Holy shit. This is a very funny edit. Real thumbnail. <laughs> Vosh doesn't stream for one day. Aliens were proven real. Yeah, I literally, the, just one day off the stream, and it's the, fu the fucking congressional inquiry. Yeah, proven real, right. Um, nothing's ever going to come from that, because if there actually was a government conspiracy to conceal the presence of aliens on Earth, uh, it would have leaked five decades ago. You know, like it's, 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 it's nothing's, nothing's coming of it. <laughs> Volum begs for the coconuts. Give head, threaten, beg. Hey, hold on. I'm the guy with the coconuts. Did you, did any of you guys play the Gollum game? Not just watch a YouTuber play it, but play it yourself. Did any of you? Fuck no, lol. Man, that was a game. Madlets in chat are playing the Gollum game every day. Six foot versus 5'11". That's true. Truth Vosh is afraid to admit. Democratic Party, Republican Party, Mario Party. Okay, unironically, I don't understand the love for Mario Party. First of all, there only ever needed to be like three of them. Because after Nintendo 64 era, I feel like they had all their ideas done. Second of all, if you think Mario Party is fun to play with friends, like, everything is fun to do with friends, right? But this is like, do, do we, okay, does no one else think that they turn the random shit up in Mario Party too much? 
you can't even like narrativize it very well. Like it, it, like Mario Kart cheats in favor of the people who are behind, but at least there's still some game there. Most of Mario Party is legit just a fucking dice roll, you know? No, it's just you? All right. It's pretty obvious. Well, you, 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 well, you can't. It's pretty obvious if a person's they, them. I don't, I don't know. And they, whenever I see trans people or whatever, you know what I think? Oh. <laughs> One more time. It's pretty obvious. Well, you, you, well, you can't. It's pretty obvious if a person's they, them. I don't, I don't know. And they, whenever I see trans people or whatever, you know what I think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Hey, Peter Moses. Oh, uh, the online left. <laughs> Horse fucker, did I say racist, pedophile, trans, liberal, CAA, plant, gay, anti revolutionary, racist, YouTube, shark clone. <laughs> what you gonna do? You're going to put that bug spray down, and you're going to listen to me. You're going to watch my videos, Walter. Walter. This is how you get Vosh's complete undefeatable. They could never. AI could never. AI could never. What does it say on the bug spray? Cancel be gone. Only one dollar, too. You need the expensive stuff to get rid of me. This Twitter space was fucking crazy. I don't even know if this is Photoshop or not. Okay, it has to be because the text is different sizes. At 38, Adolf Hitler, the devil, Vosh, Max Carlson, Cassandra, DJ Mule, Skipper, Dean Mama, Shu, Courtney, Grade A, Under A. Yeah, okay. There you go. I don't know. Twitter spaces, who knows? Who knows? Nightmare blunt rotation. Unlivable blunt rotation. Genocidal blunt rotation. Omnicidal blunt rotation. It's over with this blunt rotation. Didn't, what did grade A under A do? What did he do? He did something. What did he do? Ideal Russian roulette rotation. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it was COVID denial. That's right. I don't, was that like surprising to anyone? Grade A under A always came across like exactly the kind of person who would do that. Like he, from, from the get go, from all of his content, like you look at it for one second and it's like, oh, this guy's obviously like a self-absorbed shithead. You know? Grade A was not that many steps from Leafy. Yeah, also a self-absorbed shithead. Right, exactly. You made videos on him? I can't remember every video. There's like fucking five million of them. There's a lot of them. Where would you rather live? Hitler's Germany, Stalin's USSR, Mao's China, Mussolini's Italy. An overwhelming majority of Bosch viewers chose fascism over, quote, authoritarian socialism. Um, in terms of the likelihood of you being killed, this is probably objectively the correct answer. Hitler, Stalin, and Mao both killed an un godly number of their own people, and certainly anyone even remotely politically dissident. Mussolini did as well, but mostly under pressure from Hitler. Prior to that point, I think he had a much lower death count than the other leaders. Am I wrong on that? Mussolini was horrible, of course, but I don't think he did the same kind of like massive totalitarian purges that um, Stalin, Mao, and, and Hitler did. It's complicated. I mean, prior to World War II, because after World War II, he became more openly compliant with Hitler's regime and got worse. But prior to that point, I think he, he did less mass killing. Italy didn't really have the infrastructure to really do it. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Italy was a lot weaker than, than Germany, of course. Hold on. How many people did Mussolini kill? I don't actually know much about Mussolini's energy. An estimated 2,000 political opponents? Oh, God, that's nothing compared to Hitler, Mao, and Stalin. 
They all killed opposition in the millions. 2,000 political opponents? Okay, wait. This is just during the 1920 to 1922 armed fascist squad. Okay, wait. Hold on. Um... I'm seeing some contrary sources here. I It looks to be the case that there are far fewer deaths directly attributable to him before World War II than the other contemporaries there. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to look. It's not stream. I don't... Good lord. Oh, Wap Goblin again. Oh no, poor Luna Oi. Maybe she can sell some of the free land she got from the Vietnamese government and call genocide's mistakes to feel better. The genocide these Voshite freaks are talking about in Vietnam was a mild amount of red terror in which Ho Chi Minh immediately apologized for, and Vosh called Ho Chi Minh a genocidal monster of Mao. He apologized, do we? Check Discord DMs for kitties when you get the chance. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, well, these are kitties that, that stream has seen because they're from stream. These are good photos, though. There we go. Look at that. We're all looking together. Ooh. Got 25 pounds of baby up in my arms here. Three second video of Mussolini saying spaghetti in a funny way. Yeah, okay. I stand by the choice made by the community. Good video. Yeah, good video. New channel trailer. Oh, fuck. How funny would that be? The, uh, as the channel oh. trailer. I remember... Hey, what's up, everybody? Are you disappointed with the behavior of Jenk and Anna Kasparian, your favorite TYT hosts? Have you noticed that lately they've been shifting to the right and it feels like there's no reason for it? Folks, do I have the solution to you? Move from liberalism over to socialism. Come try socialism, folks. We don't have civility politics over here, okay? Socialists, they hate civility politics. Go check out a liberal shit poster on Twitter and what do you get? You have people making Donald Trump jokes, you know? Check out a socialist shit poster and you can't. They've been suspended for death threats, okay? We we love our comedy here, folks. Um, so what I'm saying is give me money. Give, give me... Give me money. I want as much money as TYT. More, even. I want all of your money. Give me your money. God, that's so fucking good. That was such a good... This and the other. There were two of them, and they were both massive fucking bangers. They're so good. We're gonna watch both. Also, this was linked. Um, about 315,000 deaths are attributed to Benito Mussolini's regime specifically. The majority of those deaths are from the war with Ethiopia, the Second Italo-Abyssinian War, and the pacification of Libya. Um, and then you have war crimes in Greece and Yugoslavia. But it seems like in terms of internally, in Italy, yeah, relatively few people were killed. So, yeah, interesting. You know, I don't know that much about the um, Mussolini's war with Ethiopia. I did listen to a Lions Led by Donkeys episode, or episode series, on the first Italian-Ethiopian war, which was very funny, because Italy got its ass kicked. Yes. What strand of libertarian socialism is it when you're literally apologizing for fascists over MLs? I mean, we're, I'm literally just talking about the number of political dissidents they killed internally, which it's objectively the case that Mussolini killed significantly less than the other fascists that were on the list. Hitler, Mao, and Stalin. It, that seems like pretty simple math. It's not a defense of the regime itself. It's just that is literally the case. Fewer political dissidents died underneath them. MLs aren't leftists anyway? No, of course not. 
Can't believe Bosch loves Mussolini and wants to marry him. Yeah, true. Got caught out in it. Thank you, TreeMan42. What does ML stand for again? M fascist la fascist. Looks good, Posadish John. That's fucking classic right there. I think this is fine for YouTube, because otherwise I don't I don't even know. It's like Renaissance art or whatever. The father's the, the, the pictures that Vermin took on Father's Day of me holding the babies. Now I've got a funny hat. Right, but deaths don't exist in a vacuum. Dying to a fascist isn't the same as dying to a socialist government. What level of cope do you have to be on to defend, like, Stalin and Mao? Where it's like, oh, being executed by Stalin is different existentially. Like, th when that's, like, the level of, oh, okay, yeah, well, like, sure, Stalin may have killed, like, a hundred times as many people, but, like, those were socialist deaths, so it's different. Like, isn't that kind of weird a little bit? <laughs> um, just slightly, a little bit, maybe, slight little. You know, they're all fascists to me. You say socialist government. Mao's a fascist. Uh, Stalin's a fascist. Hitler's a fascist. It's fascist. Yeah, w dying wokely, you know. Many such cases. Do you normally? I don't do you unironically think your anarchist revolution is going to be one hundred percent peaceful, like zero deaths whatsoever? It would if it, if if a revolution were to happen and it was an anarchist revolution, it would be anarchist as opposed to Stalin, who was a fascist. I haven't said there's anything wrong with violence as a political tool that happens all over the place. I just don't know. You're, listen, feedback 011, okay? We're doing the meme streams here. Um, I just, it's, it seems like you're upset by the, the reality that Stalin and Mao killed a lot of people, okay? It's not my fault. It's not like a woke anarchist... Was Khrushchev a fascist? Eh, nah, they, they were they were pulling away from a lot of the 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 hardline Stalinist shit by then. I mean, certainly, like procedurally, the the mechanisms of the totalitarian state were still in place, but that constant paranoia and fervor were not. Yeah, no. Yeah, Khrushchev was the closest the USSR ever was to socialism. That is to say, extremely far. <laughs> Incredibly far, you know. Um, don't go over, you know, people oh, ask God. me how to... I just realized that the chat is in the same position as Vosh's chat. So I have to put our chat in the top left corner because KGG chatters are tops and VGG chatters are bottoms. That's why Vosh hates his chat so much. That's true. Because he hates bottoms. <laughs> person on the podium has a bunch of power that they can use they all right i just realized that i am also in the wrong corner <laughs> so just as just as my chat is full of tops i am also a top i don't i don't and buy Bosch this is a bottom i don't buy it now so, nah let's continue lacking political analysis failing loser ideology Ridiculous. I think Keffel, Keffel's a coping bottom. If ever, if ever a coping bottom was to exist, by the way, if ever one was. The feds are working overtime. Leninist Voshite. This person is the most federal agent of any per- I actually fucking blocked this per- I don't block anyone on Twitter, basically. Um, this person is the most federal agent individual on Earth, okay? Holy shit. Oh, fuck, I hate this guy. I hate him. I hate him so much. He hasn't even done anything. Yes, he has. But the way he speaks, his face, his glasses makes me violent. I hate everything about him. I hate his name. I hate his beard. L Bro using liberalism as a guise for wanting to lower the age of consent so there is a reason. Oh my god, do you have a video where he says that? <laughs> Uh, thanks. 
what did he do? He's a Zionist. He does this like sneering, um, like therapy language bullshit, and and, and it, 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 like Eve Fartlow shit or whatever. Um, and he talks about like how it's problematic to be anti-Zionist or whatever. The guy in the pic of the tweet. This person. This person right here. And 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 also he looks like a wojack. He looks like an insulting caricature that somebody would make. I'm Bemis Prig. I'm an alcoholic and failure of life. President Frank famously told the He's American people, we have nothing to fear but fucking getting killed. He was exactly right. I'm unemployed alcoholic. Walsh Walsh. I have no self-esteem. No self- Wow, young Matt Walsh is cursed. Holy shit, he even has the school shooter glasses that look like they're swim goggles. He- oh my god. And he was like, hey, Barber, give me the fresh fade. And he has the, this isn't a, this isn't a three-fourths part. This is like a five-eighths part. This is, this is like a seven-sixteenths part. Billions must swim. <laughs> no self-esteem. No self-esteem at all. I dislike myself. Why? Because I'm me. When I asked my teacher why I should have high self-esteem, she said you should have low self-esteem. When I asked why I was special, she said, kid, you should hate yourself. Funny, that's what my parents taught me. I remember one time my dad made me feel bad about myself. I probably should have called social services. Many people think unfair suffering is good. I admit, I am one of them. The Bible is the first book in history ever written. One. Do not show compassion. Two, do not be afraid of the Nazi regime. <laughs> be afraid of Pemis Prager. Three, commit suicide all the time. That might sound counterintuitive. Five, four, three, oh, two, no. Oh, no. one. Isn't it crazy that students in Florida are going to be tested on this specific video? That's fucked up, man. Can't believe that shit. That specific video, yeah. I don't know if the leftist subreddit is based or not until I control F China. The Uyghur genocide isn't real. Don't believe the imperial lies. Fuck's sake. Literally true, yeah. It's basically every left-leaning subreddit. The the best left-leaning subreddit is 196. Um, because it's a heavily queer shitposting subreddit where they are definitely not tankies. It's heavily anarchist aligned. Um, also, sometimes the people there like me. It's control F Ukraine now, yeah. I subscribe to Voshism Gornism. Me watching the universe where Al Gore won and I can leave the house without having a heat stroke. Oh god, dude. Uh, this again, like this this is one of those things where younger people won't understand, but like Al Gore, the the the, the Supreme Court ruling that they would not redo the voting because of the butterfly ballots in the Florida election for the presidency, thus determining that the electors went to George Bush and not Al Gore. Like that was the timeline divergence. That, that determined everything, literally everything, from the get-go, right there, right there. His loss was a canon event, yeah. They're called hanging chats. Hanging chats. Oh, all the chads are hanging from the fucking, from the fucking rafters, yeah, because they roped. Because they live in the bad timeline where Al Gore lost. <laughs> I am inside a horse stable where something incredible is about to happen. There, that was my best impression. That I think that was pretty recognizable. I think I think that sounded like him a little bit, you know? Um Oh, I know this background. I don't know this background. If this is a reference to something, I don't get it. It looks like a 3D render of a stable. <gasps> Bubino! He's on my footrest. Hello! Oh, I know these pictures. Furry porn animation? Ah, it would be something like that. Furry porn? Like, with anthro furs? Oh, that's fine.
dun 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 got it pigeon wait pigeon you're the one cat we haven't shown off today pigeon Why you got your legs out like that? Why you got to be gross? Mm. Wank. How is she? She's good. She's just never been as good about being held. Yeah? Okay. Silly. Big fat blob. Big fat blob. Cats look so fucking silly without their fur, man. Just a big blob. 95% chance Al Gore still would have lost. Even without the influence of the the, the butterfly, but all of that. Um, I mean, I think there's a chance in either direction. You know? What was the popular vote again? Bush versus Gore popular vote. Yeah, he got half a million more popular vo like votes than Bush did. He was the first person since Grover C Cleveland in 1888 to win the popular vote but lose in the Electoral College. The Electoral College has been getting worse and worse and worse. So again, before 2000, the last time somebody won the Electoral but lost the popular was 1888. And now it happens all the time. It happened in 2016 with Trump and Hillary, you know. Um, yeah. Bad timeline. Don't the recounts, if they were accepted, say Gore won? I, 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 I don't know. I think what, what matters is that Gore should have won. The recount was refused, and the recount should not have been refused. There were legitimate reasons for the Supreme Court to authorize a recount, and they didn't because they the map wouldn't be ready in time. I, 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 Dab, 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 dab. I am Adolf Hitler! I don't even need my earbud in to know what audio you all just got subjected to. Command of the Third Reich! Little known fact. I'm socially left leaning but economically conservative. MF's five minutes into the debate. True! Socially left leaning but economically right leaning is not real. It's not a real thing. There are certain beliefs that just go together with other beliefs, right? Like, like there's no such thing as a sexist trans ally. <laughs> I, I've never met anyone who's like, trans women are women and they belong in the kitchen. It's never happened, not once. Aged like milk. This person could have never predicted the way things would turn out. A poor cultural navigator did not accurately predict the way the seas would behave. When it's time to cancel people for opinions they used to hold. Hatredist, taught leftist, I don't play with you. Yeah, it's, it really is. Yeah, it's, it's, I've, se I've seen this all over the place so many times. I just, I just do not think that it's difficult to believe, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. People just want, like, any excuse to hate the people they hate. Vush V sub has been pretty trash lately. Expectation reality, misspelled expectation. Vosh v, expectation, politics, together we stand, me, debate, reality, shoe bad, worse Vosh. Okay, buddy, Vosh, what you expect, Vosh bad goblins and communism, and uh, what you actually get is, well, Vosh bad goblins and philosophical debate. Yeah, not much communism here, mostly just uh, making fun of me. That is true. I think that's the chair reference. Oh, shit, you're right. This is from one month ago. This would have been the chair streams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that is true. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize it was that recent.
Reminder, Matt Walsh literally used to look like he fell into a vat of soy. Wearing a skirt is peak masculinity. No, wearing a skirt is peak masculinity. It's funny because, like, in my mind, Matt Walsh here looks like the stereotype of a guy who tries to pick up women with all of the, like, MRA pickup artist tactics that he learned on Reddit and fails miserably. He looks so ugly. He does look, he looks, like, genuinely quite terrible. Yeah, he looks, he looks very bad. The fucking fedora, man. <gasps> I know this guy. To the conservatives who pop up in my feed, none of you understand. I'm not locked up in here with you. You're locked up in here with me. My father shadow boxing uh, the entire Twitter community uh, of, of conservatives. Or actually boxing, I guess. He, he does argue with them a lot. If a Voshite moves out, Echo chamber, moves in, brocading, bully J.K. Rowling, doesn't bully J.K. Rowling, ignoring transphobia, doesn't partake in discourse, unwilling to listen, engaged in discourse, harassment, bad. True! No good way to be a Voshite, you know? We need, hold on. We need, like, those civil rights protesters with the sandwich boards, like this, except it's, uh, it's VGGers, you know? I am a man. Or I guess for you guys it would be, I was a man, and then I transitioned. Um to assert your... God damn, they all look good as shit. Hold on one second, let's go on a separate tangent, okay? What the fuck? Is it just because people were skinnier back? I, I, I don't know. I feel like oftentimes when you look at pictures of people from the 1960s and 70s and stuff, like white, black, civil rights or whatever, just people in general, they tend to look a lot harder. Um, Not just because they look older, because these guys don't look old at all. They look like I don't know, like 20 or whatever. But, um... Corn syrup? Yeah, maybe. We're all getting soyified by the corn. Might have been a photo op of the most attractive people in front. Counter-argument. Counter-argument. Here are the people in the back. <laughs> Sorry. Just looking good. What do you mean, harder? Like, cooler. I don't know. Damn, I've been countered. I found him. Can find him in an instant. You know why? Because my dad looks way the hell better than these losers. That's why. Because I lock in on style. <laughs> huh, that guy looks attractive to me. Unbelievable. Another hot guy. Yep, you're gay. I think, so, I, the original comic was me saying, like, I think this is meant to be me. Again, it might not be, but I think it was meant to be me. Um, and I, it was me saying, like, uh, this looks like fascism. Wow, look at this fascism. And then it's saying I have, like, heart disease or whatever. I think it's meant to be me. And it was made by like a Nazi, he gave me like a hook nose, um, and I'm balding. I assume it's me? I mean, they do like to draw me. It's got the jewels in the glasses? No, that's just the, um, that's just the screw. I don't know. It's still a very funny comic. I love this body type. This is like the Danny DeVito body type, where you're like a big barrel on two little legs. I don't get the original joke. Um... There was an article that was written a little while ago, which correctly identified the fact that far right people hyper fixate on fitness as a kind of political motivator, which is true because it plays into like the Andrew Tate lost masculinity shit. On average, far right people are loser, skinny wristed weaklings, just like most people who spend their time whining online. You know, that's just a broad issue. Um, but people deliberately misinterpreted it as the article saying that being into fitness makes you a fascist, which is, of course, not what the article said, but I don't think the article was titled very well, so it kind of, you know, enabled that misinterpretation. It was about fitness chat rooms being recruiting grounds for fascist groups. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that happens. Because it's always like loser men who have no friends 
who are like one bad day away from suicide and they're like i will literally off myself unless i reclaim my masculinity let me like learn how to lift weights or whatever and then they don't actually do it it's it, it's like it's all very sad but it's like the incel groups you know incels are also obsessed with fitness um the ones who aren't black pilled you know they talk about it uh but it doesn't um doesn't always pan out damn that used to be me i'm so happy to be a girl now yeah there you go see the actual solution Who hasn't heard the following phrases repeated ad nauseum? He will get to it any day now. It's not up to you to decide when it's time. Violence is not the answer. The mainstream media would like you to believe that going goblin mode isn't the proper response to Vouch's recent month-long refusal to do an OK Buddy Vouch. This one was four months. Segment. They want you to believe that even the... I'm trying to get fit, but sometimes I feel like I'm not making progress. I want to look like a Frank uh, Frazetta painting. Um, this is one of those, like, work smarter, not harder things. If you want to get fit, uh, I genuinely think most people, if you have a disability or some specific condition, maybe not, but for most people, you can get pretty fit without that much effort. Um, and it's just about, like, maintaining decent discipline when it comes to what you eat and, like, having a basic set of calisthenic routines that you can cycle through, like, you know, on your time kind of when you feel like it but you got to do it pretty like pretty on the, on the ball you know you got to do it pretty often um and uh and 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 i you know it's it's really it's like a smarter not harder thing people will people will like commit themselves to getting fit and then they'll go to the gym for two hours one day and then the next day they'll go for an hour and a half and then they'll skip a day and the next day they'll go for 45 minutes and then they'll never go again and they're like damn dude working out is hard it's like bro why were you at the gym for two hours? There is never a good reason to be at the gym for two hours. When you see people brag, like, oh, spent two hours at the gym, they're either lying or an idiot. Unless you are a top-tier athlete, there is no fucking reason why you need to be spending two hours exercising. No reason. Seriously. Like, it's just... That's, that's like, it's, it's so... Like, transparently worthless. I mean, if you're a top tier athlete, maybe it's fun though. If you're having fun, sure, but don't delude yourself into thinking that's necessary for 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 getting fit. Yeah, drink lots of water too. The tiniest common sense action against this grave injustice is tantamount to lunacy. Have they forgotten the principles that this subreddit has been founded on? Don't post cringe unless absolutely necessary. <laughs> OK Bud is entitled to all it creates, and at least one OKBV OK segment a month, or we go goblin mode. Well, here is a fact they won't be able to forget so easily. Posts disappear from the top post this month page after a month. So every day that passes without an OK Buddy Vouch segment means dozens of memes that won't make it. I'm all going the tens back! Of minutes our brave comrades have spent making valuable memes for future generations will have been spent in vain. So ask yourselves, brothers, sisters, and they, thems, what is more important, your fellow comrades or one man's safety from goblin moding? There will come a time, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a week, or maybe on the 17th of August, 2023, when every Vashite will have to make that choice for themselves or have that choice be made for them. I'm Dennis Prager. This is like unironically inspired, like genuinely a call to action. Um, I got to be careful with these folks, man. They're going to find me. Leftist TikToks that hate Vosh. White Western males when we forget our position side. Even. Why is Vosh? Didn't I try to look at this and it wasn't even about me? This was a huge disappointment. I thought I'd get to react to TikToks that hate me. MF watched too much Vosh. Puberty blocker allows for child to legally age but physically stay same. Age 18 boy will have body of fit. I'm not reading this. All right. Well, good luck to them and whatever prison cell they're in. Seven deadly sins. Pride or vainglory. I've been doing a lot of that lately. Greed or covetousness with the babies. Lust. Somebody found my Tinder profile. Envy. <laughs> Gluttony. <laughs> Including excessive drinking. Uh, dude, I look like a... Uh, I look like a like a British pub master here. I look like an innkeep. I look like a tavern. 
I, I look like a tavern keep right here. Wrath and sloth. Sorry, no, mo no more torn up, tattered chair, folks. I'm in a Herman Miller Aaron now. Um, it's uh, it's not gonna get torn up. Say in it, in it. Good shit. Hosh. Ah, we saw this. This is good. I can't believe they managed to make it look like me while still having the horse face shape. You know, it reminds me of those real. Hold on. What is the? Okay. Does anyone know the name of the furry artist who draws? gigantic bara huge dick muscle horse boys but mostly keeps the face shape correct it's like wait i remembered it exactly let me um <clears throat> let me let me do a little bit of selective cropping here. Okay. Now you're missing some context here, so you're not going to understand the complicated social and sexual dynamic that's going on here. Um uh, but they're friends, these two uh guys are friends. And uh the point that I was making was that this artist has a distinctive style where they actually keep the facial proportions. Wow, yum yucking, Vermin. Not a furry, by the way? I'm not a furry. <laughs> I'm not reading this! I'm not reading this! He really tweeted this? That's true, he really did. What's the artist? Purple Birdman. I'm not reading this. Most Divorced Man Battle Royale. Ruben just ran by so fast that he headbutted my um, cabinet. Um, of these three, I think that Elon is the most divorced. Like, I think that Kanye is the most psychotic, and I think that Crowder is the most abusive, probably, but I think Elon acts the most divorced, in my opinion. Would pay to see these three in the ring, no prep. Kanye would beat the fuck out of both Elon and Crowder. Crowder is like pretty big and muscular, but uh, Crowder's not a psycho, okay? Crowder is spiritually soy. Kanye is a fucking lunatic. Godlike blunt rotation. Yeah, yeah, he would like eat his fucking ear or something. You think Jews control the country? Yeah, they, they control the fucking country. Oh, interesting. They control Wall Street, they control the banks, they control Hollywood. Every fucking building in New York City is owned by Jews. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm Jewish. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you gotta get out of here. I, no I control it. Wow, see, he does control everything. You gotta go. Get out of here. I control everything. You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm Jewish. I, but I control everything. So you, control you gotta go. You gotta go. See, if this guy really believed what he was saying, he would be sprinting away right now. He'd be like, <laughs> they found, they're on to me. I'm just saying it would. No. So there you have it. Jews control everything. I was able to to clear the square there. I just commanded him to leave, and he left. It's rough. It's rough out here being a goyim. If there's one stereotype I'll believe about Jewish people, it's that they're funny as fuck. Blesses man. That's true. All racial science is fake, except Jews are funny. Um, that's it. That's the only correct thing. Every other part of it is fake. Why would Ukraine do this? U.S. had intel and Ukrainian plan to leak gas in a TYT studio months before attack. Ah, they've been caught yet again! Zelensky! The Biden administration knew of a detailed Ukrainian plan to sabotage the Young Turks' air quality three months before it was 
liberal brain rot, according to documents leaked online, alleged by errant National Guardsman Jack Tixiera. The CIA learned last June through an unidentified European spy agency that a six-person team of Ukrainian special operatives um, intended to blow up the natural gas in the Los Angeles area, the Washington, uh, Washington Post reported on Tuesday. True. This isn't a joke. This is real. This is real. Yeah. It all happened. My friend's addiction to the trans meetup meme. Trans girl meetup, trans man meetup, trans non meetup. Nice meme. Can I, can I say something mean? Really quick? Just really quickly? I think that a lot of always online trans girls infantile and cringy obsession with adopting the most superficial and meaninglessly self debasing attributes of anime feminine culture uh, usually comes back to bite them. I think that generally speaking... I see a lot of unhappiness that's associated with this cloying obsession with adhering to this very specific aesthetic of femininity. Just because this is the femininity that you saw and you liked when you lived as a man does not mean that this is the fucking aspiration you should be shooting for. Um, you know, I, I, I think, uh, just like for cis women, okay, cis women don't have like a fucking 50-50 shot of landing in this archetype whereas trans women seem to so you know it's now this is not the case for all trans women like so there are plenty of trans women to do this shit and they're happy i'm not saying it's like all trans women you know i'm not trying to generalize but i think that like broadly speaking you're not doing yourself any favors you know and that's also true vermin this is also the non-binary meetup you know i think people can be as feminine and masculine as they want what's wrong with that bosh that's defensive speak right there you're being defensive. I say that, you know, goddamn well what I mean. And then you're like, well, I think people can be happy. Sure, people can be happy. But I'm saying, you know, it's like, well, if people can do what they want, yeah. So I can never say people are making mistakes. Or I think that generally, maybe they might be going the wrong direction. I'm not, if they want to be cringe, that's their right. I'm just saying, you know, I think, um, I think I see, I think I see it cause some issues. One ninety six super jack guy, I don't get it. That's okay. Have I ever done a drinking okay buddy Vosh stream? I'm sorry, I don't have any alcohol in the house right now. At least I don't think I do. Lies? No, I mean it. Now yeah, whatever. Well, Marx was a black man. Oh, now we see the origin point of that previous post. Ever wonder why America is so virulently anti-communist? It's because the creator was black man, and America is actively working to keep the black man down. Share the truth, brother and sisters. Looking drippy. Looking good. As a cis woman, I imagine it'd be hard to force yourself to fit that aesthetic if you're not naturally thin. Well, yeah, the problem, I guess, is that these aren't humans. These are anime girls. So if your idealization of femininity is associated with an archetype that is literally non-human, you might run into the issue of sort of setting the wrong expectations for yourself. I also think there's a lot of cloying second puberty cringiness there that gets unnecessarily prolonged. Like, if you're going to do the second puberty shit anyway, like whatever, that's life. But then, like, let's be real. Being into cat girls is like being in perpetual adolescence, all right? There is no, like, it is very difficult to be a functioning adult with, like, mature and sensible expectations about yourself and life generally, and also to unironically identify with anime cat girl culture. It's, it's kind of mentally infantile, and it is literally made by 30 and 40 year old men in Japan to appeal to, like, pubescent boys. So we're not dealing with, <laughs> like, it's, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, is, is, is it impossible? Is it probably, are there, are there no cat girls who are happy? Sure there are, sure there are. I'm just saying, broad traits, broad traits. That's all. Scientists use deep learning algorithms to predict political ideology based on facial characteristics. <laughs> that won't go wrong. That, there's no way that could be misused.
Two years ago, if I saw your account, I would think it was a parody or a literal caricature. Please tell me how. Vosh fan has selfies in femboy attire. Furry. Trans. Atheist and posts on 196. How are you a real person? Wow. It's a, it's a tor totally fucking normal, sensible human being right here. Goddamn. An advertisement. AI learns to recognize race again. Yeah. Sees a black face. Uh, pegs them as a Democrat. Yeah. Trump executes. Onion with the bangers. Real. Real. Really happened, by the way. Real. I like your progressive politics, but I don't like your bigotry towards candy corn, so I'd say you're basically a wash. Wash bad. Dude, I can't believe I had this interaction with Anna Kasparian, like, right before she lost her fucking mind. Maybe it was learning that I like candy corn that set her over. Jesus, what is that, Pepe? Real. Real. Candy corn is bad, though. A small amount of candy corn as a treat during the Halloween season is nice. Obviously, you shouldn't be having giant bowls full of it, and you shouldn't be having it all the time. It's, it's a treat. It's a little treat. That's definitely copyright. When you're trying to riz up that one trans person in your class, the University of Iowa, and Matt Walsh rolls to your campus. What does this even mean? I don't even know what this means. Why are you trying to riz up the trans person, but then Matt Walsh? Well, I don't even know what the fuck this means. Is this just Robert Pattinson is hot? That's true, he is. I agree. That's the, that's the argument. Matt Walsh should chase her? Well, that's definitely true. The Vosh fan who debated Matt Walsh? Was he trying to riz up a trans chick? I thought I thought that he was just at the stage. I think it's about their fan debate, Matt. Yeah, but then what does that have to do with a trans person? Let's just agree that Robert Pattinson looks really nice. Vosh, I had spotted. What would you do if you saw me drunk like this? Smash your skull with the heaviest rock I... Yes, there we go. Bringing it, bringing it back to the, the previous subject uh, of discussion right there. Vis-a-vis um, -vis bottoms and taking control of your life. Hey, there we go. There's the original. Vosh spotted. Yeah, see. Huh, fascists. Unbelievable. White supremacy. Heart disease. Yeah, see, there you go. Classic. I do look like this, to be fair. People are outraged that DeSantis is saying he might pardon Trump if he wins. But if Biden wins, are you sure he wouldn't pardon Trump? Oh, yeah. I remember this take from Jenk. I don't remember if this was before or after Anna Kasparian did the whole birthing person thing. But, like, holy shit. Takes like this genuinely make me wonder if they're getting money from a different source. Because they have been losing money on their network. I have, I have deep insider intel to confirm that much. And, like, that this is such a take. You know, like this isn't just gas leak or whatever. This is like, okay, are you literally doing controlled opposition shit? Why in the ever loving fuck would Biden do that? What possible justification could you think of there? You know, didn't Biden just laugh at a reporter asking him if he'd pardon? Yeah, no, the, the, there is literally no reason to believe that Biden would do that. Like at, at all whatsoever, apart from the fact that it would be very funny. Yes, that is true. Meme from Vuvuzela iPhone that I stole and fixed. How great libertarians see Voshites, how conservatives see it, how centrists see it, how tanky see them, how revolutionary socialists see them. Voshites see Voshites. <laughs> True. The biggest poll. Biden would be the biggest cuck if he did that. I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> ah, this ancient college photo of me with the burger hat and the raw shirt that I don't have anymore. Fantastic. God damn, look at me. Look at how look at how I loom. This is how Voshites see me. This was the night of our graduation. Oh, you're right, Vermin, it was. How far we've come. Is that real? Yeah, that's a picture of me. Do 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 do. 
glory to Uzbekistan. Yeah, Vosh Uzbekistan. Got to visit that sometime. How drunk were you in that photo? I was alcohol intolerant when that photo was taken. So, not. Biggest horse in history? This is uh, AI generated, I assume. I don't think that's a sculpture. Uh, maybe. Is that a sculpture? Not real. Divorce lawyers after inventing conservatives. <laughs> that's a real big horse? I don't think that's real. This is true, though. Why the fuck is Spamton here? Wait, I, I'm sorry. I'm so used to, like, internet culture bullshit that I just saw Spamton and didn't immediately question why he was here. Why is he here? What is a Spamton? Uh, you'll find out when the final six chapters get released. Who? What do you, who, you, seriously? Okay, never mind. I'm 14. I've watched every Vosh video. Can I call myself an expert in politics and debate? You're definitely an expert in something. Evil doesn't die, it reinvents itself. Whoa! Legalize anabolic st Advice for pre slash early T trans men. Jim, break up with that gamer guy you're dating who looks like Vosh. True? Right now, he doesn't wash his beard or treat you right. He'll leave you when you start looking too much like a man anyway. Spare your olfactory senses until then. I know he says he's pansexual. He's lying. What? What do I, what do, I do to catch these stra- I've had sex with cis men. What do you- I, I do- what? And I wash my beard every day. I shampoo my beard. What, what, yeah, what? It's so specific that it makes me feel like this was inspired by a dream this person had where I was present. Wait, like... Steroids. Okay. I know at least two guys, this, uh, two trans guys this applies to. I understand this advice in abstract. I just don't understand why I'm catching the strays. What the fuck? That's too much shampoo in your beard, sir. It's going to dry it out. You know, people have been saying that to me for my entire life. I've been shampooing my beard and my hair every single day for like 15 years. And it's fine. So I think I'm just fine. Yeah, I, th I think I'm fine. You know, I think, I think it's fine. Shampoo every day? Yeah. Check again, you're bald. I, th I think it's okay. Do you use beard oil? No. It largely depends on how much oil your individual scalp produces. I think I have, I have dense and fairly oily hair, I think. Um, if I don't shower for a day, my hair, like, feels kind of oily, so I just shampoo every day. I'm fine. That's why I shampoo in the morning. Or shower in the morning. I touched his beard once and would have pulled away and degloved my hand. Vosh will deny this, but it's true. How funny would it be if it fell off right when you pulled it? Yeah, I just, just yank off, like, half of my... Yeah. Vosh, how do you feel generally about your community sexualizing you? I, I, I don't care. The thing is, I don't care but I don't want to give people in my community the impression that the way that I get treated is an acceptable way to treat other people. I don't care. If you guys were fans of other people and you guys made the same kinds of comments about them, like they almost certainly would not like that. I don't care. Um, a lot of that is because as a guy and as a fairly mask guy, I've never not been taken seriously because of like people sexualizing me, you know? Like there's never been a point in my life with like a job or academia or whatever, you know, where because of my like sexual appeal, I've lost out on something. So I don't feel like it delegitimizes me. But if you're a chick or like even a feminine guy or whatever, I can see that being way more of a bother. And a lot of guys who even look like me don't like it, but I don't mind it. Also, yeah, if you DM me on Instagram to flirt with me, you're DMing Tempest, as Tempest has pointed out. I don't check Insta DMs. I don't use Instagram. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I, I think that to an extent, I kind of signal that I'm okay with people treating me that way from my stream, because A, I have a reputation for being, like, dealing with a fuck ton of, like, negative attention online and dealing with it just fine. So that's one thing. And for two, additionally, 
uh, I talk about sex all the time on stream in pretty like lascivious and detailed ways. So I, I guess it makes sense that I would convey a degree of comfort there that a lot of other people might not necessarily do. I don't know anybody in the streaming circuit or even like the left tube circuit who talks about sex as like um, willfully as I do. So, you know, there's, there's definitely something there. Yes, Rosie. Uh, anyway, got distracted here. Bottling Sunshine uh, should get a blue name, I feel. Voshism without Hazism is liberalism. Hazism without Voshism is Nazbalism. Voshism and Hazism in harmony is Marxism Leninism. Thoughts? True. Unironically true. Christian, gay, black flag, violin. Hi. I'm about to get racist. <laughs> now I'm racist. It's okay, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm even more racist now. Where is this from? What? <laughs> It's a it's a Goku edit. Gotcha. Goku would never be racist. Let's be real. But that makes it funnier, right? You know who also said this? Adolf Hitler. Vosh after a hard day's work harassing black. This shit was so this shit was so fucking funny, dude. I was responding to so I don't even remember what I was responding to, but literally all I said was this. You know who else said this? Adolf Hitler. In like just such an obviously unserious way. I mean, this is like a joke format. Um and <laughs> 26 K likes. And I'm portrayed as black here. I, I I'll I'll happily be Miles Morales. Thank you. Um he can do the cool shock thing and also he can do the spider web swing. That's pretty cool. I would be Spider-Man. You got to use those tone indicators. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm about to get racist. Now I'm racist. It's okay, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm even more racist now. Now I'm way beyond racist. Uh, is he gonna say the n-word at the end of this? Okay, he's not. But honestly, who gives a shit? Because now the art has progressed beyond the only part of Dragon Ball that matters, okay? Anything past DBZ is trash. Even the art style gets worse. What the fuck is this? Why, 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 why? Look at, oh my, look how ugly this shit is. Oh my god. Looks like shit. Uh, this is, a uh, Super Saiyan level 5. Hunter Biden's latest video, nude water slide riding with hookers at 4K per night Malibu rental. I already think he's cool. You don't have to sell me on him further. Oh, this got on clever comebacks. Nice. I love my, uh, I, I love getting on the normie subreddit circuit sometimes. Like the time when I replied to Joe Biden and said that it's always a new day in America. Epic. Epic and Reddit pilled. NCIS was so banal and awful. What, what is NCIS again? All I know is, is SVU. What does NCIS stand for? Naval Criminal Investigation Service? I haven't seen a single episode of this. Naval? More copaganda? Oh, yeah, yeah. Communism has never worked, except in this place. Welcome to <laughs> okay. Now, I know this sounds absolutely insane. However, if I remember correctly... Less than a century ago, there actually were efforts at, like, creating some kind of anarchist communities. The kibbutz? It was a kibbutzism in, in, in Israel. Um, now, I don't know much about them. A kibbutz is an intentional community in Israel traditionally based on agriculture. Um, they began as utopian communities, a combination of socialism and Zionism. I could be wrong... But I believe that originally these were attempts to 
for there to be like Jewish resettlement of Israel, um, but without the displacement of the Palestinians. Like obviously the overall project of the formation of Israel after World War II began with the mass ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. But I, I think that these started earlier and they were an attempt to like take some place in the Holy Land it was it was early Zionism, like back when Zionism wasn't associated with defending Israeli fascism, you know? In education and communal living. Yosef Baratz, one of the pioneers of the kibbutz movement, wrote a book about his experiences. We were happy enough working in the land, but we knew more and more certainly that the ways of the old settlements were not for us. This was not the way we hoped to settle the country. This old way with Jews on top and Arabs working for them. Anyway, we thought there shouldn't be employers or employed at all. There must be a better way. Hmm. What the fuck? I think that was the... Wikipedia article for cholera. Jesus, I really need to turn off the Wikipedia, like, auto open image thing. Gonna accidentally scroll over a, a hyperlink to, like, anal waxing or something and get my fucking channel banned. Like that YouTube video. Well, that, I mean, that's on YouTube. Wake up, Vasha, new N-word just dropped. Keffels! Given you seem to be racist, I don't know if wishing death on you is bad. I wish death on clan members all the time, TPH. The, the, I, I genuinely feel like Keffels has actually been a better litmus test for the insanity of some groups on the online left than I have, because Keffels genuinely has a hate crew of people who despise her because she thinks, because she says noodles. Like, like, there was a white woman who wrote a cookbook which included noodles and dumplings, and Keffels was like, oh, I love noodles, and people are unironically treating it like an alt-right dog whistle, like 1488. Completely psychotic, you know? Like, I genuinely, I think, like, stupider than anything associated with me. <gasps> Dr. Strange Strange? Holy shit, five minutes and 40? Okay, Dr. Strange Strange, I gotta warn you, man. Holy shit. Be careful. Oh my god. Okay. It's been a while since I saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. Did you... Did you AI voice me, but do it to the song? How did you do that? A lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? This is terrifying. You guys having fun? All aboard! The toxic gossip train. You're chatting down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way picket and manipulation station. It it even it even fucking gets the mic artifacting. Toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. His rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crush. But hey, I wish I could do vibrato like you're that. Having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So, I've been sharing my life online for over four years. I've poured my heart out to you and because of that I feel like I'm talking to my friends, but in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. And there were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was but really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it?
So let's go on the toxic gossip train. This is so cute! The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. Toxic gossip train. Steam all over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board but close your eyes, otherwise you'll realize that the train is made of lies and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die, but hey. The least you're having fun. Rip. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to- How bad does it feel to hear yourself singing better than you think you normally do? Um, look, okay, I, 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 this is remarkably well done. There is no bitterness within me. What? Oh, you don't care? No. Have sure. I liked some fix of Sweetie Bills? Yes. Have I messaged Applejack at 5 a.m.? Yes. <laughs> Am I sad that there are some fans that feel betrayed? Nah. <laughs> it was my intention to manipulate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only thing I've ever groomed is my two precious cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser. Couldn't even comprehend he shouldn't respond to mares. I'm not a zoophile, even though a lot of you think so. Because five years ago, I made a horse cock joke. What the? <laughs> Shit. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes people make a mistake. And it does make them a horrible person, whoa. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake, oh no. And twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and Stab it with knives and ruin a life and... Well, no. Sometimes people can make a mistake. It doesn't mean you better send them hate. Oh, no. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know. It's true, Vermin. And help them to grow. <laughs> Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human. So fucking toxic gossip trade. That's right, the real song goes on forever too. You jog him down the track, so this information. Toxic gossip train. You tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Rumors look like facts when you don't mind the gaps. I won't survive in the crash, but hey. Hope you had some fun. For what it's worth, I never raw dog rainbow dash. <laughs> We use the car. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking good. This is like beyond effort posting. Like, this goes so far beyond effort posting. Jesus Christ. Um, Dr. Strange is out, like, outside of the art here. You know, I, I, I hope you're, you know, I, I hope you're using this for more than just Okay, BV entertainment because this is this is an ability that goes beyond the scope of shit posting. I I feel, um, I um, was that Batman? Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, professional shit posting. It's so good. And Fox Potato, thank you, of course, for the help. It took me two days to animate. Okay, Doctor Strange, Strange. Unironically, the fact that this only took you two days is insane. Like, that's that's a ridiculous pace for for production on stop motion Lego stuff. Well, I didn't sleep. How how does it feel 
to spend two days without sleeping making this, only for me to spend two months not doing OKBVA afterwards. Like, what were you rushing for? What were you, what, what train were you worried that you wouldn't catch? <laughs> you know? It's... You woke up at 5 a.m. Uh, to get your suitcase packed for the air, for, for, for the flight and your, your, your plane leaves in three days, you know? You can't stop passion? Yeah, I guess that's true. It's very good. Very, very good. I, uh, I can't, I can't believe the uh, AI. That, that AI is uncannily good. Um, how much that sounds like me, you know? Sings better than I can. I had to sing some parts myself. And then you, like, mapped the AI onto it? That is fucking crazy. Yeah, you can tell it's not really me, because I can't sing that well. That's the... <laughs> Try it. Try singing it. Even if I wanted to sing it, the problem is that Toxic Gossip Train is one of those, like, meandering ukulele songs that doesn't have a very clear beat. I don't know how it's supposed to go. Is it? Toxic Gossip Train Chugging down the tracks of misinformation Or like that, but then it goes on like ba da 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 And like, I don't know... I, I like, I, I don't even know... How to keep the beat for it. A lot of it is like just talking, you know? Like a lot of it is just like talk singing. Either way, this is fantastic. Dr. Strange Range, of course, Fox Potato for helping. Phenomenal work. Vermin is linked this. I assume it's somewhat relevant. Mr. Krabs just sang the entire Ballin song. What? Sure I can. Just... Sure I can. Just watch me. Mr. Krabs starts singing. I came into the bloody bottoms is on the Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, just Thanks for <laughs> Ooh, going hard as fuck. I also really like Lego me. I just like looking at Lego me. It's just very cute. Very cute, very good to look at. Makes me happy. Fuck, one second. Do I have an appointment tomorrow? I want to see how late I can go tonight without making myself upset. One second, let me see. I don't. Shit, do I? Hold on. Okay, I haven't gotten a response from them. Okay. I don't think it'd be hard, Conyer. Okay, I don't have an obligation tomorrow. I can just not stream tomorrow. <laughs> I started doing a rotoscope of you. Fucking what? Dude, what the fuck? There are so many artists in this community. It's sickening. That's fantastic. I even know what stream this is from. It's from another OK Buddy Bosch. So good. So many artists and autists. Yeah, seriously. Take on me, Vosh. Yeah, yeah, true. And yet you deny us regular OKBV. The real problem with consistent OKBVs is that I'm not... G okay. OKBV, in my mind, is a lot like a collab, which I tend not to do. People in my community make stuff, and I laugh at it, like, collaboratively. Like, they make something, I react to it, and it's, it's a non-adversarial engagement. As much as OKBV may seem to be adversarial from all the times they call me a pedophile. Um, so, for that reason... In the same way that if I had someone on stream who I agreed with, and we just were, like, agreeing with each other, 
I feel like that when I see the memes and I react to them. Now, again, this is mostly an autism thing here, right? That's like a me thing, but that's usually what I think of it as, right? Um, well, life is tough, Dino Smash. That's a lib. That's just socialist, a slight different opinion. Lib. That's just someone who told a joke that was kind of cringe. Lib. No, that's a Republican. Well, to be fair, Republicans used to be libs. You know, back before um, half the country was fascist. Yeah. Finally, Vosh has posted his first X video. Hello, Xavier Corvus. I don't even have a man bun anymore. The, the, the comparison doesn't even work. Also, um, Xavier, you know, I, I wouldn't say this about most guys. You know, for most guys, this wouldn't apply. But Xavier outdicks me. Um, it's true. And, and I, and I would know, and, and, any, and everyone could know, cause you could just go and look at his dick cause he's a porn star. Oh, I'm sorry. Xander, not Xavier. My apologies. Xander Corvus, not Xavier. Okay. To be fair, that was close. And also they're both cool names. Xander Corvus, not Xavier. I think I thought Xander. And then I thought, not Xander, that's Xander Hall. So yeah, Xander. Uh, that'd be, that's Xander Hall. It's, it's a different person. It must be Xavier, you know, but Xavier is the name of Professor X from the Gifted Academy of Young Mutants or something. Yes. You know, Xander Corvus uh, is a socialist. He wore a faded DSA shirt while doing a porn shoot, and he also did the very first Brazzers... Is it Brazzers or Brazzers? I don't know. Brazzers, I think. The very first Brazzers um, porn shoot with a trans woman, um, which was... Uh, because I saw it out of curiosity, you know, uh, which was uh, totally non-exploitative. Like, it wasn't like Xander Corvus fuck she male tranny big cock ass come hard. It was just it was just a porn shoot with a guy and a girl and the girl was trans. Um, you know, genuinely, I think. Um, uh, 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 pretty cool. Xander also shows him chat from time to time. Yeah, he's blue named and I've talked to him like plenty of times. Yeah. He's a very cool dude, yeah. Dr. Strange! Strange! What's up, my man? The time-traveling racist. Lord, where am I? Oh, too quiet. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm covering. Wait. Hello there, citizen. What did they do? I just got him jaywalking. God damn, I hate Latinos. It's me. This is an older video, and you can tell how much uh, uh, more work, uh, or how much more talent, or, or, or like uh, knowledge in the AI voice stuff um, has gone on. Though, I, Dr. Strange Trades has always been really fucking good at the stop motion stuff. At this point, you should just have post notifications on for Dr. Strange Range. That's probably true. Two. God. Nice beard. Where do those genetics come from, fellow white? The Irish. Come again. I am Irish in the sense that I'm like a quarter. Cult of the Marmion? Hello there. Or wh what the fuck do Irish people do? Potatoes? Like, hey. I don't know. You filthy bastard. Where did he? <laughs> <He'll> stop. <laughs> Meanwhile, in another time, they flash by so quick. <laughs> okay, to be fair, back in like the 1910s or whatever, if you were going to say the N-word, the trains would swerve to not hit you because they agreed. Also, we do know for a fact that Joker is an anti-racist hero because there was literally a comic arc where he realizes the Red Skull was a Nazi and that it wasn't just a bit. I may be a criminal lunatic, but I'm an American criminal lunatic. Now, the corollary to this, I feel, 
is the time where the Joker became the Iranian ambassador to America during in the 70s during like the the like refugee crisis like the ayatollah was like who will we get to speak with the american devils uh i know and then this happened L literally here's here's him talking to the because this is like the this is like the captain america punches hitler thing where the Iranian revolution happens and the Ayatollah and they take the American hostages at the embassy. So they're like, oh, the Joker is a villain. So we should have like the villain be with like the real life villain, you know? So it's like, yeah, man, the guy with, the, with this chin is just casually talking with the Ayatollah. You know, that's like a real thing. He's kind of slaying the fit though. Yeah, that's true. He is. He's serving though for real. Oh no, he is. Queer icon. That's why, um, that's why they made him uh, actually gay in um, The Dark Knight Returns. Oh, I didn't bring my cam back on. Beep. Rep. He's gay. In The Dark Knight Returns, uh, Frank Miller made the Joker unambiguously gay. At the end of the day, and I really oh, no. hope you internalize this, you got blown the fuck out. And it's not because your points are bad. It's because your points are bad and you're stupid. <laughs> Debate lost. Dude, when people talk about how they miss the good old days or whatever, I do not miss this. I was so much cringier back here and I, I was worse in like every way i think some people just like the stream as an ongoing slideshow of 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 content and whether or not the content is like good or bad or whatever like slop num 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 um i do not you know you were a lot more expressive back then yeah but a lot of it was like fake cringe youtube stuff i think i i feel like i'm expressive in a more deliberate way now top 10 anime betrayals yeah well, you know what? It was fair, okay? It was only reasonable for Contra to turn against me after I placed the curse on her that made her be irrelevant and release one video a year. <laughs> she's active on Patreon? Yeah, she's not actually irrelevant, but holy shit, she does not release many videos, huh? Thanks, Clog in the Revolution. Here's a link to the upcoming Hearts of Iron 4 mod you're going to be in. I do not support Hearts of Iron 4 players, okay? There we go. Really need, there is no Libertarian socialism, mutualism, a wild and free confederation of autonomous zones. Mute the music, probably. Probably. Listen to the song. If only I could. Got a Malatesta quote over there. Such degen shit. Isn't that flag more anarcho-mutualism? I don't care. Okay, here's the secret, guys. Libertarian socialism, mutualism, anarchism, and all this bullshit, none of these words mean anything, okay? Uh, libertarian socialism is a blanket term for non-authoritarian socialism, and any more specificity than that gets into LARP territory. You know, people argue over which specific prefix or suffix their socialism is. Meanwhile, they've achieved nothing, you know? Um, I think we should focus on what we can do, you know? My humble opinion. My personal opinion. Uh, okay, shit. We've gone all the way down to the 500 upvote mark. And we still have some to do that have released in the past month that we haven't seen. We're fucking hitting it. We also have donos to go through. Yeah, here we go. Even more, guys. Now we have entered the final round. We have entered 
the most recent month of content. Now we will get to stuff that actually happened somewhat recently, as opposed to stuff from four months ago. The top posts from the past month. Found on Twitter. I want Palestinians to live. Oh, so you want Jewish people to die? Fucking anti-Semite? This is a real position that I've taken and defended. Uh, this is what I'm known for. My lenient views on anti-Zionism. Or, or on, on Zionism. Um, that is true. I'm always saying this. Are you ready for your socialism lessons? Karl Marx gulps. Friedrich Engels breathes heavily. Vladimir Lenin nods nervously. Mikhail Bakunin sighs. Yes, Vosh, they say in unison. I feel like I could have gone back in time and given them valuable information. Um, you know? Don't call the dictatorship of the proletariat that, for one. Transvestigation has reached new peak. General Douglas MacArthur, sloping down female shoulders, hips are wider than shoulders, braless boobs underneath the stiff fabric. MacArthur supposedly liberated the Philippines from Japanese occupation during World War II. I love transvestigation. Transvestigation is like my favorite category of Twitter lunacy. I genuinely love it. You could have shot Lenin before he shot the Union Councils. Yeah, the, the day... At, well, I would have had to shoot him earlier than that because he killed the anarchists earlier than that. Just found out about this guy's political history. Y'all forgive this shit? Ah, uh, yes, my 70-year-old Vosh Pit video. Whoa! Love these pictures that uh, Tempest got of me, by the way. It's great. Officially confirmed shark is white. Studio Ghibli food. Damn girl, your pussy looks like Studio Ghibli food. On white people Twitter. Wow, the erasure. The fucking erasure. Vosh has been banned from OKBV. This is now a Keffels fan sub. I think Keffels deserves it. Yeah, Keffels deserves it. Go Keffels. Looking good. Wigglers unite. What's new on Vosh V? Trump is our first true black president. He's the first to have a mugshot taken, loves fast food, Obama likes fine dining, talks like a normal person, no Harvard words, barely graduated from high school. This is, um, I think this, uh, I think this post that has 11 comments and no votes on it, because it was, uh, it di didn't even have enough engagement to get those votes. I think it might be a little bit of a psyop, guys. Conclusion, Trump is more black than Obama. I'm not, I, I don't care for the way they reach the conclusion, but I feel like you can make a decent argument for whether or not Trump or Obama is more black, okay? First of all, where did Obama grow up? Hawaii? Wow, that's like a vacation resort. That's pretty white. Where did Trump go up? New York City, home of Tim's. And Harlem? Did Trump grow up in Harlem? I don't know. Queens, baby. I don't know. Harlem is white as fuck now. Well, yeah, of course, because cool, rich white people, like the number one thing they want to do is be in a neighborhood where black culture happened. Oh, God. What is the definition of an RPG? An RPG is a role-playing game, so a game has to let you role-play in order to be an RPG. RPG is a category we made up. And a game is an RPG because socially, that's what we recognize that as. But an RPG doesn't have to adhere to specific mechanics. What are we doing right now? Okay, listen. What I'm about to say is inarguable, okay? We use these terms to describe certain tendencies in games. And I do not think you get much information from referring to a game as an RPG just because it has level ups and stat allocation. If we do that, then like everything is an RPG, I feel like the point of an RPG is more about, like, story and, and more about, like, getting in the role of your character. And I think that's something different, you know? I, I feel like it's important because otherwise you go about, it's like, oh, well, here's two RPGs, Bioshock Infinite and Baldur's Gate, you know? I know, Nicky Bugs. Do you think JRPGs are RPGs, Fosh? Some, but not all of them. Why would Vosh say this? 
<laughs> what? From Malala Yousafzai. We watch in complete um, shock as Taliban takes control of Afghanistan. I'm deeply worried about women and minorities and human rights advocates. Global regional local powers must call for an immediate ceasefire. Women be quiet or start apologizing. Yeah. They say, this is just um, me supporting uh, Taliban anti-imperialist thought, okay? All right? I was so real for this. Yeah. It's called Opposing Empire. Why Vosh love chairs? Uh, I, I remember. I remember this interaction. I rem I know who Malala Yousafzai is. Yousafzai. Uh, Zai? So Yousafzai? Or is Yousafzai? I actually, I don't actually remember hearing her name spoken out loud. I've read it plenty of times. Yousafzai? Yousafzai? Yousafzai. 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 Okay. Um, she won an Oscar? Did she won an Oscar? Don't you mean, uh, yeah, she won, she won an Emmy. <laughs> Nobel Prize? No, no, it was, it was an Emmy. She, she won an Emmy. Day since last OKBV okay segment. That's enough OK Buddy Vosh for now. I'll try to do these more often. Hey, Vosh, could you maybe do okay, buddy? See, this is why I won't do it. Stop asking. <laughs> so fucking true, dude. Ah, that's so true. It's your guys' fault. I agree. I agree with that, personally. I think, that, I think the sincere point that this comic is making is correct. Pedocon theory in action. If pedophilia is just sexuality, burying them all is just gardening. Yeah, Ted Nugent literally wrote a song about wanting to fuck a 13 year old like i i can't believe it's genuinely insane i want like this is something this is one of those gotchas that you have to throw in the face of conservatives like yeah if 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 you guys are anti-pedophilia why is ted nugent just like an accepted popular guy on your side despite just singing about being a pedophile you know nice try puppy What? What the fuck is this? Also, no copyright. Is this the good place? People dress like this on the good place. Is this the good place? Yeah? Okay. Because Jesse threw her cat? Yeah. Rip in peace, little doggy. No. <gasps> Baby! Try to grab her, but I knocked my own earbuds out. Oh yeah, that's a good place, that's a good show. Really? Because every clip that I see of The Good Place makes it look weird and uncanny in a way that I don't like. Boringly postmodern ideological fantasy, Slavoj Žižek reviews Matrix Resurrections. Every reader has for sure noticed that... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> every reader has for sure noticed that in my description of the movie... I heavily rely on a multitude of reviews, which I extensively quote. The reason is now clear. In spite of its uh, occasional brilliance, the film is ultimately not worth seeing, which is also why I wrote this review without seeing it. <laughs> Bosch had ideology right there. That's how I live my life. Classic. He was so real for that. Yes, he was. You have to embrace it. Maybe, SDL. I guess I've never seen anything long from it. Yeah. So fucking real for that. Yeah, me reviewing Minecraft. By the way, I hate Minecraft again now because I got so frustrated that every single build that I saw online had a shader installed. And now I hate it again. So I'm back over to that. I, I had a goal. I wanted to build a Spanish villa. I couldn't find anything that made it look good. I got angry. I quit the game. I hate the game now. Also, unironically, enchanting is really busted. They, the people who are working with enchanting and designing it right now expect that everyone is just going to have a mob farm. Like, everyone who plays the game seriously enough to want to have fully upgraded armor and tools is going to have, like, an Enderman farm where they get 5 trillion EXP a second or whatever. So we're going to have the cost of getting a fully upgraded piece of armor or tools be so insanely high that it's not achievable without the farm. 
And that is really annoying. I have valid criticisms of Bosch. I hate opinionated queer neurodivergent people. True! Uh, it's actually genuinely in some cases true. <laughs> Consequences. Okay, holy shit. The looming... The looming fucking... Soyjack f me is incredible. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> oh my god. New PFP? This might actually make a good, like, Twitter banner. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Hold on. Divine Light has been severed. What even is the context? Okay, buddy, Vosh going goblin mode and killing me for not, uh, for not doing OKBV. Is this real? Don't worry, baby. He's just a nerd. That's it. I'm creating trans people. This is true. Look at the soy jack. The angle is right, but I just look like a normal guy. I need this to look more fucked up, okay? The, 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 we, the, you know, it needs to be drawn properly. To be the correct kind. I do look albino here, yeah. <laughs> they disagree. They fight. Fucking incoherent. Ideology. Vosh, it's 9-11. Not for another 90 minutes for me. Keffel should do an OKBV OK segment. What did what did you what did you guys do? Did is is Keffel's encouraging this? Did Keffel's do like a public statement saying that I have abandoned my community and failed the working class by failing to do? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Comrade Keffel's has an ultimatum. If Vosh won't do OK, buddy, then I will. Is this a real video? She did do an OKBV. OK Oh my god, it's real. I thought it was a bit. I respect it. I respect it. Sorry to interrupt, but Fortuna has just shown me his friend's door handle, and I literally need you to show chat, please, please. Wow, this is the most Australian thing that I have ever seen in my life. This is straight out of the TF2 cartoons. Is this real? Holy shit. This is incredible. Yeah, fucking Aussie door. Hell yes. Least Australian door handle. Fantastic. Yeah, it's real. It's Kyle's. It's Kyle's?! Oh my god. If it works, it works. Main sub having a normal one? Uh, no, this banning is Islamophobic, xenophobic, racist, unacceptable. France to ban girls from wearing um, a bias in state schools. Wait, this banning is good. I totally support this. No, you're not supposed to act like those alt-right fascists. Qatar officials continue to ban rainbow items in World Cup stadiums despite FIFA promise. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna say this much, alright? I'll say this much, alright? I oppose Islamophobia um, in, in the sense of, like, discriminatory uh, actions or statements or whatever the fuck against uh, Muslims. You know, but there is a contingent of liberals and some leftists who believe that because Muslims are oppressed in the West, that they aren't the oppressors in like a third of the world, you know? Like that, that is like weird, you know? Islamic theocratic control looms over like a billion Muslims, like billion with a B, you know? So it's, it's very weird to pretend. It is worth noting though, that that is a thing in their countries. 
Muslims here in America, on average, are more progressive than like a lot of Christian groups. So it's it's not you know you you, you don't generalize you know. The Quran also says there will be no peace until the whole world is Muslim, dude. Every holy text says that shit. Every every holy text has like the line where it's like, yeah, dude, we should all be our religion. Like the Jews have it. Um, the Christians have it, like, multiple places, like, every single one, you know? Holy texts are always genocidal, at least implicitly, because it always ends in, like, okay, well, God will come and kill everything, and we'll be, like, raptured to heaven or whatever. The average horse weighs a thousand pounds and has a 20-inch D. I don't think that's true. I think that the average horse weighs more than that and has more dick than that. That's a ratio of 50 pounds to one inch. So an average man weighing 200 pounds needs a four inch dick to be hung like a horse. Be proud, fellas. This is Cope. This is Cope and she looks like a horse girl. This is Cope and she looks like a horse girl. But I appreciate the positive messaging. Priorities. The right wants to ban sex education. Why is everyone afraid of double texting? <laughs> You know, that's, this is actually a good question, and a lot of people ask how, what goes on what channel, like, is, you know? And what I've found is that, generally, we put the most popular stuff in the main channel, um, but when, when talking about, like, what should go where, usually the goal is, stuff will get more reach on the main channel, and... For that reason, you want to put the kind of stuff in the main channel that's going to, like, appeal to the broadest audience. So this kind of, you know, like, social advice stuff potentially can get a lot of people who might not otherwise be inclined towards news stuff, you know? It varies. Like, it's, it's, it, 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 there's a lot of variability on it, but we do, we do try to think about, like, how or why things should be put on which channel or which, you know? Sometimes it's also just, like, how much uh, content has been put out. Like, if, like, six things that might otherwise go in the main channel get put out all, like, in a row, we, you know, they get spread out between the two channels. But, you know, it's, it's science, okay? Debate says trans. Okay, buddy, proletariat noodles enthusiast. <laughs> Debate bro, sis, and gay. Bourgeoisie, chicken, cat, tendies, enjoyer. True! Noodles are too many empty carbs. Uh, empty carbs. Uh, it's uh, too, too calorie filling, you know? Saying the N-word is worse than saying cracker because of systemic racism. Therefore, we should dismantle systemic racism in order to say the N-word. Kind of. I mean, a world in which the N-word has the same amount of social weight as cracker would be a world where, logically, there would be basically no systemic racism, right? I mean, the lo like that would be the logical consequence of that, so... Is there a lore reason why Vosh didn't say white women here? Is he stupid? Because I'm not a fucking coward. Because I refuse to participate in the trend where you say something sexist, but you get away with it by saying white women, okay? People do this shit all the time. Like they say white gays. Nah, -uh, no. If you want to say something sexist or homophobic, just say it. I'll say it. I'm not a goddamn coward. I hate car dependency. What is what is this tier list, dude? Everywhere in the USA. And then we have this suburban blight. Every single American neighborhood. The opposite of America bad syndrome is everything fine syndrome, and it makes you defend suburban hell and car dependency. Really don't know what is worse. I fucking love car dependency. Ra. Okay. So this America bad suburb just... Yeah, okay. Gotcha. It's like capitalist realism. Sometimes people don't even understand how much better the world could be. They don't. They don't even know... That's why I personally massacre an entire village of Russian civilians. What the fuck, you monster? Oh my god, baby! This is how this is how I lure people to sleep, you know? It's like what Mark said. Babies are the opiate of the masses. My nose itches so much. God, I wish the high-speed train in California was finished. Bro, don't you mean you wish it was started? Destiny is white confirmed. Yeah, they really called him Gusano in the title there, didn't they? That's crazy. Can't believe they got away with that. Vosh, when a powerful political pundit calls him a lunatic pedophile Nazi. Vosh, when a 17-year-old chatter says he's bad at video games. Actually true. A legitimate and genuine juxtaposition here. It's crazy how that works, huh? 
Study. Left-wing authoritarians share key psychological traits with the far right. Hmm. Hmm. Makes you fucking wonder. America's fallen. Billions must be indicted. Uh. Literally, Vouch. Basic human needs, according to Reddit Starter Pack. Working 9 to 5 is inhumane. Wage slavery acceptable. I deserve a 4-hour workday, so I have time to live my life playing with his cats and video games. 5-day week, 4-day week, 3-day week. What? Hold, hold on, really quickly. What absolute soy-chugging, boot-licking fucking cuckold made this? Are you, what, are you, like, literally some, like, fucking, one day I'll be the millionaire, dipshit 17-year-old, um, who hasn't even read Atlas Shrugged, out here like, uh, 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 d um, yeah, wow, you know what's cringe? When people want to spend their time doing things they enjoy, rather than creating surplus labor for another person to extract, so they can spend their time doing things they enjoy. Jesus Christ. Un just unimaginable fucking cuckoldry on display here. Five day week, four day week, three day week. The ideal society is the one in which you work as little as possible in jobs that you don't want to have. That's that's the good thing to strive towards. Yeah, absolutely. Average Wall Street bets poster. And you know this is from people who either have or are going to lose everything on crypto too. Like. All of these people who act like they're fucking the Wolf of Wall Street running around with like $62 in trades and they're going to lose all their shit after convincing their parents to buy hard into Dogecoin. And then they're going to be like, they're never going to understand. They're never going to get it, you know? Temporarily embarrassed millionaires, a lot of them. How Vouch sees the world. Little and cringe America. Bad America. United States of Joe Biden, good America. Good America, comma, Western portion. Beverly Hills, Latino internment camps, pure evil. We got the little dick down here. Transphobe island, fascist, the only nation in Europe that actually exists. Spain, presumably. Also fascist, tanky paradise, melting iceberg. Yeah, that's, that's more or less what I've got. You know, that's more or less what I've retained. Ooh, do we want to try it? Do we want to do an OKBV? tradition and do a map quiz to see how much I've held on to. I haven't done this in a long, long time. All right, hold on. Map quiz world. Okay. World large countries, because I don't want to be doing this for an hour. Okay. All right. I'm ready to embarrass myself. I'm ready. Okay? I'm ready. Let's go. Click on Spain. Click on Poland. Okay, I, re I, I don't want to get cocky and, like, fuck this up, you know? So, like, Poland. Okay. Namibia. Well, shit. Ugh. It's like one of these countries. God damn it. South Africa. One of these two is Zimbabwe, but I always forget which. I don't think this is Namibia. Son of a bitch. Hell yes. Indonesia. Okay, now I always get Indonesia and the Philippines mixed up, but I'm pretty sure this is Indonesia. Okay. Argentina. Why am I nervous that this isn't Argentina? But it is. Angola. I have no fucking idea where Angola is. Just absolutely no clue. Um... It's got to be somewhere in Africa, if I don't remember it. Um, because African countries get talked about in Western news the least. Um, I think it's somewhere down here. I'm just blind-shotting it. Mozambique, Zambia, Angola. Okay, all right. I was in the, it was in the rough area. Tanzania. I think this is Tanzania. No, that's Zimbabwe, so this is Tanzania. Okay, no. No, fuck. Can we get out of, like, the lower half of Africa, maybe? Possibly? Sudan? Well, that's the country that's not South Sudan. Madagascar. Bolivia! Guys, have you heard of Bolivia? Central African Republic. Well, it's in the center of Africa, you dweeb. Wait, no. This is the, yeah, Brazil, Mauritania, 
Is that really a large country? Yeah. Mauritania, Mauritania. God damn it. I'm gonna, like, fuck up every single country in Africa. Okay, it's not these. Not this. I don't think it's these. Niger, Nigeria. That's Cameroon. Ethiopia. Nah, yeah. Just, it's just, I'm just, this is just gonna make me look so fucking racist. Kazakhstan. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was, was this one. Yeah. Venezuela. Finland. Turkey. Oh, look, they have the new spelling for Turkey. Pakistan. Norway. I always mix up Norway and Sweden. I'm pretty sure that Sweden is the outer one, and Norway is the... No, wait. But I literally... It's like, it's like a fucking coin flip. No, no. Sweden, I remember being closer to mainland Europe. So this is Norway. Okay. Denmark. Covering a lot of ground there, huh? Mali? No. Nope. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Kenya. Not this. Wasn't it one of these two? <laughs> okay. No. Nope. Just, a, just a fucking. Well, man, I guess uh, Africa really is going to be full of people of color because it's all—it's going to be all yellow and red over here. Um, Nigeria, uh, Iraq, Germany, Saudi Arabia, Ethiopia, Algeria. God damn it. No. No. That's Niger. That's Libya. Yeah. Algeria. No. It's so over, man. Why did I think that was Mali? Have I already done Mali? God damn it. Just every, literally every, every country down here. Myanmar. Um, I always get... You won't be able to beat the racism allegations after this? Yeah, probably not. I think... Yeah, okay. Niger. Sweden. Thailand, Mozambique, Peru, Libya. Why am I suddenly feeling like this is wrong? No, this is Somalia, right? This is Libya? Yeah. Morocco, Afghanistan, Somalia, Chad, South Africa, Egypt, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Mongolia, India, Mexico. Man, they really saved all the easy ones for the end, huh? China, Colombia, United States. Okay, so yeah, what we've determined from this is that I'm extremely racist, is the thing. So that's cool. Could have been more racist. I could have been more racist, is the thing. Um, I think I could have done, I could have done better slash worse there. Um. One more. Europe. Okay, now let's let me be racist to white people. Or at least Slavs, okay? Uh, Finland. Norway. Cyprus. Okay. Isle of... S no, 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 no. I don't accept that. I saw an island and I was talking and I wasn't thinking. I refresh. No, nope. 
I wasn't scrolled. It, I didn't see. I just saw the island. No. Okay, Monaco. Monaco? Isn't Monaco the little island out here? Or is that the, is that the like, city-state? Um, Malta. That's Malta. Fuck. Monaco. Andorra. There. Germany. Liechtenstein. Um, okay. Liechtenstein is like... Okay. Vatican City is the southern one. Montenegro is... That's Kosovo. That's Montenegro. Andorra. Albania. Kosovo. Okay, cool. Just give me all the hard ones right off the bat, why don't you? Just fuck me up right off the fucking bat, man. Just fuck me up. Just fuck me up. Belarus. Poland. Ukraine. Um, Austria. The big one here is Romania. And then you have... No. No. Okay. This is going to be painful. Moldova. That's San Marino. This is going to be really painful. No, that's Malta. What the fuck is a Moldova? They're just making shit up, man. Wait, Moldova. Like Transnistria? Yeah, that's it. Transnistria, that's what I always remember. France. Czech Republic. Norway. Oh, that's Finland, that's Norway. Lithuania, okay. It's Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia. No. It's Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Bosnia and Herzegovina. That's Croatia. This is... Yes. Okay. The Netherlands. What really is the difference between the Netherlands and Denmark, anyway? Not a real difference, I say. Belarus. San Marino. Finland, Slovenia, okay, it's between, <sighs> no, Slovenia, Slovakia, can we be creative, can we get new names maybe, can we like think of different names possibly, okay, <sighs> Portugal, I'm tired man, Slovakia is the other one, yeah, Spain, Ukraine, Kosovo, Switzerland, Croatia, is shaped like a C. Belgium, Poland, North Macedonia, Ireland, Greece, Latvia, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Albania, glorious Albania, Russia, Iceland, the Isle of Malta, Italy, Luxembourg, Sweden, Romania, Estonia. Okay, so what we've established is I'm also racist to Slavs. Which, to be fair, so are Slavs. Correct. Hungarians aren't technically Slavs. Tell that to me. Can you do that with the 50 states? <sighs> I'm not good at this. I just, I don't have a good... See, like, right off the bat, Massachusetts. I don't... I think it's this one? Cool. Iowa. Um, yeah, I get Ohio and Idaho. No, that's Idaho. It's like... No, that's Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Oh, it's in the strip. It's in the strip. It's in the strip. It's, it's in the strip. Okay, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Dakota, Rhode Island...
Rhode Island isn't even an island. What? Della, where's Rhode Island? I was just picking the smallest... Co where's... Where's Rhode Island? Oh, not even an island. Stupid name. Stupid name. Okay, I remember Kansas because it's in the middle of America. Louisiana. You have Florida, Georgia, Alabama. Louisiana, Mississippi, question mark, question mark. I think this is Louisiana because it's L shape. L shape for Louisiana. That's why they call it that. Yeah. Colorado um, is out here. Or is it here? I think it's here. Okay. Virginia is here. Very recognizable shape. Arizona's here. Connecticut, or Connecticut, technically. What, what even is Connecticut? I never hear anything about Connecticut. What, what even is it? I don't remember anything. Is Connecticut here? Is Connecticut here? Okay. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, North and South Dakota, Nebraska. No. It can't be Connecticut. I would have remembered. It has to be somewhere over here. Maine, Vermont and New Hampshire, New York. Connecticut? Yes! Oklahoma has the panhandle. South Dakota is south of North Dakota. Missouri. <sighs> okay. Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. Missouri. Fuck. Missouri. Okay. I think they made Missouri too far north. Missouri sounds like it should be a south state. But it's like in the middle of the country. I think that's pretty stupid. They fucked up there. North Carolina is north of South Carolina. Easy clap. Indiana. Fuck. Um, Ohio. Illinois. Indiana. Or Indiana. Illinois. I think this is Indiana. Yes. Mississippi. Because she's the only piss I sippy. Or something. Alabama. Mississippi. Maine's up there. Click on Wisconsin. This is another fake state. I've seen this one before. This is another fake state. Okay, I always get the Great Lakes states fucked up too. It's Michigan. No. Illinois. <laughs> Michigan. Wisconsin. Orb. Wisconsin. No. This is this is this is Mississippi. Michigan, Wisconsin, Mississippi. Wisconsin. Got it. New Jersey. Well, this is the one where they're mad at New York. So that has to be that. Alabama. I I I literally have said like in front of everyone like six times. Florida, Georgia, Alabama. Okay. Wyoming. That has to be this. Fake state. That's right. That's right. Okay, Delaware. Because she's the only piss I sippy. Delaware. Okay. West Virginia. One of these is Tennessee. Ohio Get. The Cube, New York, not these two, but this is Maryland, so Delaware has to be this little thing. Nice! Vermont. What is a Vermont? I don't, I don't think that's real. Vermont. Oh, wait, I just said it's one of these two. Okay, I think Vermont is the rightmost one because the leftmost one is shaped like a V for Vermont, and this isn't V. So it's 
No, they would have made the V for Vermont. Okay, that makes sense. Florida, Alaska, California, Arkansas. Um, isn't Arkansas just fake Tennessee? Wait, is Tennessee this one or this one? Or was Arkansas this one? Nice. Kentucky. Okay, Kentucky is fake Tennessee. So one of them is Kentucky and one of them is Tennessee. And this is West Virginia. Um, okay, Kentucky fried chicken. I think I remember Tennessee being rectangular. So I'm going to say this is Kentucky. Nice. New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Illinois, Washington, Pennsylvania. Okay, Pennsylvania is the cube. Oregon, New York, Montana, West Virginia, Idaho, Georgia, the country, Ohio, Gat, Tennessee, Pissy, Michigan, New Hampshire, Hawaii, Maryland, Texas, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Ah, eh, it wasn't so bad. How'd you fuck up Iowa? Because they put three I's in a row. Indiana, Illinois, Iowa. How was I not supposed to get confused? Also, Missouri d s clearly sounds like a southern state, despite being up here. Rhode Island isn't an island. Vermont with the V is too obvious. And I just misclicked with Alabama. Saping or something. If I recall correctly, we saw this. Holy shit. Dude, cops are bad, so who cares if you rape them? <laughs> no! I, that is edited deceptively. Oh, you got him with that one. I'm literally just going in a circle. Don't be weird, Vosh. I like your... Co well, that comment was weirder than anything I said. We're not like you barbarians. We have fewer black people. No, no, Tempest. Keep this in. It's fine. The dick... The, the, the vein grippers. Oh my god, it's so alcoholic. There are literally like 17 bottoms within a mile that I could come in. How much did you put in? Literally, 17 buttholes that you could come inside of. Hey baby, nice tits. And then you bend them over. What, what do they have to do? They have to moan. Well, they were gonna do that anyway. I'm not talking about washing your ass. I'm talking about enemas. What is wrong with you? Rizless. <laughs> I wash my ass in the shower like a good, decent, God-fearing American. I don't enema myself in the morning. What the fuck is an enema? Put a funnel in your asshole, pour bleach into it, and then do a handstand. It's like a holistic health thing equivalent to being vegan. I, I don't remember for sure if she would sun her pussy, but she probably did. Wow. Why the fuck is she not a lesbian? You existing makes me uncomfortable. Me. Why are you doing this tangent? Why are you doing this side thing? What do you think these streams are? First of all, I'm pretty drunk as it is. And second of all, oh my god. Oh, you, you'll let, you'll give it to me for sucking your dick? Oh, I would have done it anyway. <laughs> what are you doing? Yet another day, I am glad I am not there. Feed me the decision-making process. I've got a fat pussy for a trans man. Not gonna lie, bro. But I'm not gonna show you. I've got fat round labia. You're not ready for that one. I'm not I'm not going to do that one yet. Maybe one day. Do you think I could up the quality of my streams by just pissing my pants? It literally wouldn't affect the stream. Who here has a water sports fetish? And the answer is obviously not me because I've got like a powerful dick. So maybe you would hear like the stream splashing against the inside of my pants. Gonna head off to the bathroom. Water sports fetishes. Totally normal stuff going on in there. Water sports fetishes. You can think what you want. Water sports. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wide hips and a fat ass. You know, and you're thinking, well, can you test how grippy it is? Yes. Got a text from my mom telling me she supports me. 
<laughs> uh, I do jerk it dry. I don't regret it. You know why? Spite. And nothing else. Got him! Femboy. Horn. I'm genuinely not trying to groom you guys. I actually don't like that very much at all. I'm not a big, not a big fan of that. However, in any other world, I would look at that and I would go, yeah. <laughs> Who here has a water sports fetish? And the answer is obviously me. <laughs> Fantastic. Sorry, guys, we just don't have any alcohol in the house. Will you stop drinking now that you've seen the outcome of your behavior? Nah, I'm funny as fuck when I'm drunk. No hate. Oh, shit! Original art! Ah, yes! Sweet dreams. Oh my god, it's so cute! I've got Pigeon, Artemis, and Ruben. Look at Tiny Ruben! Oh my goodness. Actually really good. Yeah, for sure. This is what I look like, by the way. Thank you. Hold on, let me uh, save a really cute. Beep. Yeah. Vosh heights when they ban Vosh from OKBV, but still want Vosh to react to OKBV. <laughs> Giving up hope. Hold on, I just saw Ruben zoom by. I want to show him to the camera, because I love him. He hasn't quite figured out Slurpees drinking from the bath uh, faucet the way the other cats do but he's still really curious, so he'll jump into the bathtub and start, like, staring up at the faucet. Oh, yeah? You want to zoom? Well, then maybe you should have been not five pounds. Maybe you should be less weak, then. You want to zoom, but I hold you, because you are kitten. Oh, he really wants to zoom. What's got, what's got your zoomies up in a zoom, huh? What do you want to zoom? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> uh, little baby. Oh my god, he's so cute. All right. The RNC 2024? Oh, shit. Long video. What are all these soy boys waiting in line? Oh, God. On for? Oh, fair trad wife. This be the line to get into the RNC. The most hardcore conservative collection of patriots in the Western world. Only the most based and red-pilled gigachads can get in. Welcome to the RNC. How trad are you? How trad am I? I support the LGBTQ. Yeah, so? Without the plus. Holy shit, you're fucking based. Go right ahead, <laughs> sir. What the hell do you want, Fatboy? Get it's, back to the kitchen. It, it's like those tricons. You're like, bro, you're a conservative? What are you conserving? Oh my god. This is, listen, in, in, in neo-Nazism in the year of our Lord 2068 is going to be people being like, um, yeah, I, I support binary transgender people, but, I, but not non-binary people. The Overton window is just going to keep shifting. You want femoid? Get back to the kitchen. Oh, God, yes. Mommy taught me. My muscly trad waifu going queen. Welcome to the RNC. How much do you love Israel? As if I would support those elite and dreaded chrome suckers. I'll have you know, Trump sent a message into my brain while watching The Sound of Freedom, and he told me that the Patriots were in control. Uh-huh. I think you belong in that club over there. QAnon Juniors! What do you think I am, some nut job? Oh, no, sorry, I was pointed to the place next to it. 
Super Weenie Chud Juniors. I am not a Chud. I'm a Trad Cap Conquistador. Yeah, I've definitely been feeling black pilled lately. The rush has <laughs> fallen. Yeah, billions must die. What a couple of incel Chuds. Oh boy. Would you like another red 40 Soylent Chud? God damn it, I'm out of here! Let me in, or I'll get my Latinx libertarian boogaloo boy wife to come over here from our weed farm with his AR-15! Did somebody say boy wife? <laughs> they better not be making it their whole personality. So, what are your thoughts on pegging? You gotta go from chud to chad. Get yourself a trad hairdo. What's up, brokey? <laughs> what color is your Bugatti? So you're a Tate Maxer, huh? Isn't that guy a sex trafficker? Nah, he just puts women back in their place. Learned it all in Hustlers University. Yeah, hold on, you don't have male pattern baldness. You're just that shud from earlier. Hey everyone, let's go Brandon! Uh, go right on in, Top G. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here for MAGA Drag Queen Story Hour. And don't worry, I won't make it my whole personality. You're not a heckin' wholesome Republican trans POC we can use as a mascot. Get out of here. Maybe if you drink some Black Rifle coffee and use dude wipes, then we can talk, little chud. Are right, you guys gonna own a lip tart? Snowflake epic Shapiro style. That'll get you in for sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Snowflake. Did I hurt your feelings? Go ahead and cancel me. This is incomprehensible politically. It's it's so fucked up. Oh, it, it is genuinely incomprehensible, but all of the signifiers and everything being referenced still makes sense. It's so bad. It's so good. You fucking lib fart. Damn, I'm really in the mood to destroy a snowflake with facts and logic. Oh, yeah? What about that guy? <laughs> that man is clearly a red-blooded American patriot. Uh, not like that cuck. My pronouns are Z, Zai, Zo, Zom. Actually, woke crybaby, there are only four genders, as the good lord intended. Triggered much? I'm full of love, and you're full of hate. I'll kill you, you hateful piece of shit. <laughs> Imagine the outrage if the roles were reversed. Wait, no. Facts this and is logic. so fucking Your moral stupid. Your is too based. I'm getting canceled! Holy Fauci, you own that snowflake harder than Steve. This is Crowder so fucking wife. stupid. It would be my honor to accept your precious tax dollars. I'm gonna drain the swamp! Little Sandy, did the red wave save us all? All those Tradcalf Mexican immigrants voted blue. They prefer Latinx, you fucking bigot. Latinx, eh? This is completely I think you incoherent. Political party. Libertarian! This is like boys waiting in line for this is this this is like what happens when you watch every Vosh stream and you feed all of it into like a a political bit me just a an absolute okay I will say this I feel I feel like this is this is like the Voshite equivalent of that um cognition test they run on Blade Runners you know. Like, like you, 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 the the Voshite is entered into the white sterile room and seated, and then has shown clips from this. How do you feel? Cells within cells. Yeah. Interlinked. <laughs> Hold on. I get drag queen story hour, and don't worry, I won't make it my whole ah. personality. You're not a heckin' wholesome Republican trans POC we can use as a mascot. Get out of here. Cells within cells. Interlink. <laughs> That's fucking just blinking, like flashing, trying not to lose your shit. Incredible. I love this. Unironically, I love this. Never show this to anyone outside of the community. It's 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 too much. Fact: Ninety percent of video essayists quit making deranged five-hour Vosh hit pieces right before they're about to finally end his career for real this time. <laughs> True. Literally, V. Is there a dick in this one? Wow, it's the one fucking comic that doesn't have a dick in it. My favorite genres of music. I saw this. My favorite genres of music are electro swing and video game soundtracks. You are a terrible person. I volunteer every day in a soup kitchen. I'm sorry, but you're irreparably evil. I saw, I swear to God, dude, House of Decline had to have made this because of me. I swear to God, ontologically evil, yeah. Catching strays. This isn't a stray. This was aimed at me. Copyright? Oh, no. Me dropping my daughter at Vosh's private island. Shakespeare, okay, buddy Vosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? Why are Vosh's fans so weird? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. How Vosh imagines elections of only cop tops could vote? Sadly, unfortunately, it's probably the opposite. Unfortunately, sadly, unfortunately. How would you like this wrapped? I forgot you asked slash remind me too much. It's the lack of an OK Buddy Vouch segment. Uh... <laughs> when Vosh roasts another European country, when Vosh roasts my country. Yeah. Remember when people started taking the uh, the jokes about England really fucking serious and like got really fucking serious, like a like actually molding about it? Oh man. Have ye but a bourbon of sympathy for a poor man's frictionless spherical posterior? I wish to acquire your most superfluously costly chair to clarify a desk chair, not a horse, for a horse may be considered a chair when the right moral relativist axioms are aligned. I am admittedly beset by lumbar pain. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this accent. That's just what I rolled into from this. <laughs> what no? <laughs> Fucking. Putin's advisor says the US is using brainwashing to make gay Ukrainian super soldiers. Fucking based! Knew we were giving them money for a good reason. Zombified and unified through gay sex, along with cult members ready to sacrifice themselves. Fucking based. Do you think he will? Four years ago on the Hassan Piker subreddit, Irish Laddie has a YouTube channel now. I would like him to do debates. Clueless. Clueless. Smile. Clueless. What now? Spank me, daddy. Give me in clap. Papa, nukin in the cooking, min penis dot pin, <laughs> Hitler dude, what no? <laughs> fucking fake ass language, dog. Oh my god. Vosh, I once got asked out by a girl from my philosophy club over the phone. I declined because she wasn't really into philosophy for some reason and a Christian conservative. I felt so bad I continued to talk at her for a two-hour awkward rant criticizing objective morality. By the time I was done, it was one in the morning and she was falling asleep. I successfully turned her off. Damn, that's actually so autistic that it cycles back into being gigachad behavior. Holy shit. This, like, Christian conservative was like, Hey, hey, hey Dr Dr Dracanarius Senpai, can you impregnate me with your fucking fat dick? And you're like, L not with a fucking divine command theorist, you stupid whore. Now listen to me ch fucking criticize Kant for two hours. Yeah, it's fucking... <laughs> God, that's... This is an old stream. This is from, like, two and a half years ago. Also, look at Artemis sleeping back there. Um, this is like, this was like the beginning of the autistic Riz, um, bit. No, it's not, not at all. It's pretty old. Maybe not two and a half, maybe like a year or year and a half. It's older. I mean, the, the background is different. I feel like the lighting is so different. <laughs> I live for money. I live for my dreams. I live for two reasons. I was born. I haven't died yet. Fucking meme reappropriation. Mark Supreme with extra fries. This is your President Joe Biden. He's coming for you, Drumpf. Your homoerotic tendencies are taking every page. Oh, shit. Dad Dad was getting within, like, an appreciable uh, distance of, like, top comment, you know? Like, of, of, of matching the original amount, you know? My dad being homophobic on Twitter for the right reasons. 
Hey, I'm here for you now, okay? Also, if you're gonna fucking crop Keffels out, you do you do her right, and you do the proper cropping, okay? The proper cropping. Cope and Seath MLs. Let's see, it's Jews, America, click MLs. Um, I, I don't think... I think that the more appropriate analogy to the way Nazis use Jews, the way MLs do, would be to refer to them as, like, bourgeois degeneracy, right? But it is true that when it comes to, like, international conspiracism, um, there are a lot of MLs that will legitimately just, like, do the exact same thing, where it's like, well, every single thing internationally is, is controlled by American interests, and it's all evil and nefarious, and we must oppose it on every level, and it's like an existential threat against which literally any sacrifice is morally justifiable. This one's a spicy one, Lamau. Yeah, but it's also true. I do have no respect for MLs, that is true. What the fuck? Bosh, dude! What new? If I ever die, I ban Dutch people from talking about it. I do not want my sacred passing to be referred to in your degenerate language. Okay? Thank you. One day, comrades. Jesus Christ, you people. Artemy would not tolerate this. Actually, he might. He's a fascist. Here, this is Vosh, dude. Panda, that's what I'm referring to. It's, yeah. I watched the first few episodes of Breaking Bad recently, and it's super fucking boring, not gonna lie. You're retarded, kill yourself. <laughs> oh my god, it's so I fuck who I wanna fuck. I fuck who you wanna fuck. I look how you wanna look. I'm super cool. Oh my god, it's so cool. Panda, that's. <laughs> Goes so fucking hard. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Fourteen year old white teenagers after their crush dates anyone who isn't white. Literally, I saw there was that one Twitter account, which is basically just like a white guy seething about single mom. It was like single moms posting L's or whatever. And they posted an edited meme, which is basically like, white boy, you may not be getting laid with this white girl, but she's fucking black men. And it was the most, like, you have a cuckold fetish, you fantasize about black cocks all the time thing in the universe, and everyone was making fun of them for it. It is genuinely crazy. This is why I say, like, so much of fascism and racism and everything come down to um, sexual insecurity. You know, it's like that guy's ideology is literally just built off of a fear of black men fucking the white women. Like, like, that's it. That's literally the whole thing. Everything else is like a second or third or fourth order belief that stems down from that. That is actually the core of it, you know? It's so fucked up. It's, it's just crazy, you know? Literally, Vornk. What a socialist belief. Socialists talk about everyone being equal, but they actually divide people even more. Instead of trying to make it easier for everyone to become successful, they actually want to punish people and make it harder for anyone to succeed. They think that people who work hard in order to live a better life are making it more difficult for others to do so. That's true. This means socialists see everything as a battle between the rich and the poor. That is true. When thinking like that, there's no room for people to see one another as equal because they're so focused on fighting each other. This is, this is a warrior for socialism right here. You know, you've got the boxing of... Pow! Socialism! And then this fucking idiot... This dumbass. Capitalism is the best. Dumbass. Stupid fucking idiot. F minus. Communism. No private property. Government owns everything. People have no rights. Promotes corruption. No one can be successful. This is, um, this, these two pages are actually the entire Florida high school econ booklet. Um, this is all they get now. No, this is sincere. I know this seems like a shitpost, but this is actually, like, this is an actual scan of an actual magazine advert arguing against socialism. Not judging anyone who's changed, but it's kind of weird how many casually throw around a joke about having a Nazi phase. How I sleep at night knowing I never had a Nazi phase. I went from a dude who was a nerd to a girl who's a nerd. I don't know where these Nazi phases are coming from. 
I used 4chan once, watched Fosh Social. A lot of people who say they had a Nazi phase, what they actually mean is they were briefly conservative or watched like Steven Crowder videos when they were 14. The number of people who were actual, like actual, ideologically far right is very, very small proportionally of people who like had a reactionary phase. I think it would be better to use that term. I had a reactionary phrase because when a lot of people hear I had a Nazi phase, what they imagine in their mind is like you being a fucking brown shirt, like you going to like those Nazi protests outside of uh, Disney World or whatever, you know, when when what you mean is like you saw some alt-right arguments and for a while you kind of believe them or whatever. I think it would be better to say like you had a reactionary phase. Now, I do know people who did actually have a Nazi phase. And I want to be clear that I fully support rehabilitation for all people. You know, if you used to be like that, but you're not like that now, like, okay. But I think it would be better to say, like, you know, reactionary phase. I, I think that would be better. Is there ever a reason to block versus mute someone? Oh, yeah, Elon Musk saying he's going to get rid of the block feature. <laughs> Extreme BDS havers. Oh, yeah. If they got rid of the block feature on Twitter, I would 100% be up in people's comments. Uh, absolutely. 100%. Very bad, Vosh. I said, holy shit. Nice. Hell yeah. Mean mugging. Looking good. Von Tush. Von Tush. Good drawing. Oh, wait. Sorry, the reason why I do this when I when I save an image and I have my camera here is because I don't want you all to see the, the horse furry drawings. I think that's a reasonable concern. He must pay for this. This isn't real. <laughs> is it? Who knows my editors put out. I don't have time to check it all. Patriots of One, Vinch is dead. Ah, yes, this is when they banned me. Thanks. And thanks for unbanning me, by the way. Electoralism. Hmm, today I will vote for a third party. Dude, it's gonna be so fucking funny when this lunatic is in power. I genuinely, like, actually very funny. Um, it's gonna be horrible for the, uh, the, the people of, of Argentina, but it's, 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 it's also gonna be very funny. Um, God damn. I think that me being on the thumbnails is quite cute, personally. Um, I think it looks nice. Unless you live in Argentina, though. Yeah, that's true. All right, folks. That's all the way down to 400 for the most recent month of memes. And we have been at this for a solid five and a half hours. Dr. Strang Strange. I know you're OKBV okay, royalty, but don't you think it's a little bit unfair? They're short. Okay, post them. But frankly, I think it's unfortunate that the people of OKBV okay, aren't just upvoting your high quality content to the top. You know? I mean, clearly they like it. I think that generally speaking, when it comes to meme subreddits, it's more likely that people will upvote like images that you can quickly look at than videos. I think that, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's, it, people tend to like quickly look rather than sit and watch a video for like four minutes and judge it by that. But it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a, it's a matter of keeping standard. Uh, guys, phenomenal quality on the content. A lot of effort posting today. A lot of great art, a lot of great videos. We'll take a look at these because Dr. Strange Strange has of course made some very, very high quality content. We'll take a look. We'll peep. That's what we'll do. You realize they were N-words in the um, Oh Christ. The SS, Dude, right? you can just say Nick. <laughs> you realize <laughs> can't stop can't stop god that's good um the that sting from across the spider verse is unironically one of the best um one of the best musical cues that i've heard in a piece of media in such a long time 
it's so recognizable and it's so like evocative. It's so yeah, the the, the composing there is so good. It's like actually spooky, like primordial, like hair sticking up on the back of your neck, you know. Ah! Howdy. You like big dicks, don't you, kitty? What the fuck? <laughs> you guys are gonna get me in actual trouble. More so than I already am. Come back here, you! What the fuck? Yeah, boy! The whole thing? Oh, at least the ki at least in this fantasy universe. Uh, the kids win in the end. I, I'm like, I saw, on, yeah, on, on OK Buddy Vosh, I'm like fucking Quagmire. Like, 50% of the content on this sub is just a Family Guy bit of me being Quagmire. You know? Giggity, yeah. And Herbert, yes. Oh, actually, really good. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Da, 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 da. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> uh, Dr. Strange Strange, you said three more. You're really going to sneak in a fourth? Oh my god, this guy. Hello, Biden. It's Zelensky. We need five billion rockets to bomb Donetsk children. I like this fucking accent. Slavo Ukraine. Hello, a socialist trans girl. Your uh, your comet has been immortalized. Um, hello, Biden. Is me Zelensky. We need a uh, five billion rocket to bomb uh, Donetsk children. Slava Ukraine. Yeah. That's, that is what he sounds like. I've heard many videos and voice recordings. Um, <laughs> you sound like Gru from Despicable Me. That's kind of what I was going for. Because the voice here was also just kind of like... Foreign man voice, you know? Okay. This has been a solid five and a half hours of... <laughs> of un uninterrupted... Um, there he is. He's hideous. He makes me sick just looking at him. Those big bulgy eyes. This will get me copied. <laughs> that square body. Those two buck teeth. And that stupid tongue. Uh, <clears throat> oh, but it looks good on you, SpongeBob. <laughs> True. Log cabin Republicans are basically totally irrelevant now. You know? Like, that was a short lived cope. It is it has been it has been a long meme review session. Um I wish that I had alcohol for it. I, I think that would have been I think that'd be fine. I just I don't have it in the house right now. I love you all very much. Now unfortunately I'm in the awkward position here of I am too tired to read donuts. I I don't want to. I will read donuts when next I stream. Um but there is one donut that I'll read because I saw that it just came in and it seems sincere. Uh, top virtuosity with the five dollars. First time here. Hello. Do you advice for queer young adults, specifically non-binary and bi, whose very bigoted parents? Do you think that it can be worth coming out or not? Uh, I can't answer that question for you. I I can say this much though. Um, I do feel that sometimes people with bigoted parents come out too early, purely to their own detriment. You know, sometimes it is the right move to lay in wait to benefit from their unknowing acceptance. Uh, until you're in a better position. You want to make sure you're capable of supporting yourself before you put yourself in a position where you might get ousted. At the same time, you know, 
people stay living with their parents for longer and longer these days, so maybe maybe that would be too long, you know? What I would what I would do is I would think about the possible outcomes of a number of different things that you could do and decide which one has the best risk reward for you personally. Maybe it's not the right move for you to come out to your parents like just like that. Maybe it's a better move for you to have a close group of friends who you trust and you are out to them and you engage with them on that level and you wait with your parents. Maybe uh, maybe there's a family member you can tell. Maybe not your parents, but someone else and they can kind of talk with you. Uh, but make sure to think it out through. Just the main thing that you should keep in mind um, is that you are not short on time. You have your whole life ahead of you, you know? Like, being in the closet because of bigoted parents can really suck, but it doesn't suck because you're missing out on something you can't get back. That's not true, you know? I know that FOMO feeling can hit real, you know? You're thinking, oh, everyone else is out and they're proud, but I have to stay in the closet. And I get that, I do. But the difference from your perspective between you now and you a year from now, that may seem huge, but in the context of your total life, you've got all the time in the world. So think and be calm and decide what risks you're comfortable taking. Obviously, the best world is one in which you're out and proud, of course, you know, but um, uh, it's, it's, it's good to take time to measure up what you think is the most responsible uh, decision. Um, you know, uh, be careful. And good luck. Anyway, I'm responding to that because that is sincere and uh, meaningful. <clears throat> so, uh, I love you all very much. The rest of the donos, I will read next stream. Thank you all for being here. You know, I, I do uh, get tired thinking about the meme fests, but then I do them and I actually have fun. I will read the donos when next I stream. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Apparently, Demon Mama is streaming, and we do not host Demon Mama anywhere near enough. So, I am going to do precisely that. I love you all very much. I hope you have a phenomenal day, uh, night, most likely. And uh, I'll see you next time I stream. You know, it's, it's been two long streams. Uh, by the way, I have decided, I have committed, I'm going to do this for you guys, okay? This is, my little, this is my little gift to you, all right? I will play Armored Core on stream. The first playthrough of Armored Core that I do will be on stream. I haven't played it yet. I haven't spoiled myself. I don't know anything about it except you're in a mech. Um, but I will do that on stream. It's been a long time since a video game stream, and I'm still doing the Metal Gear Solid franchise as the next, like, thing we're doing, but the reason there haven't been game streams is because that's such an undertaking that I've been thinking, like, oh, man, you know, like, doing that. Um, but Armored Core is not a super long game, as I understand it. It's meant to be replayed over and over, so it, it wouldn't be, like, a 40-hour commitment playing it, unless I'm very bad, which, you know, I guess we'll see. All right. I love you guys very much. I'm sending you over to Demon Mama. Please tell her that I say howdy, and I'll see you guys soon, okay? Take care.